and girls good evening welcome to the am stream welcome to the cypher show this friday evening and how are we all doing welcome it's 80s and 90s tv shows turned into amstrad cpc games tonight i thought we'd have a bit of a um little bit of a nostalgia stream tonight but it's also a request night a request night with a little bit of a theme to it but boy, oh boy, there are like tons and tons and tons of games that you can choose from tonight. So, um, yeah, we've got a bit of everything tonight. Loads of games to choose from. A little bit of a loose theme around it. So, yeah, I thought it would be a nice one to do tonight. Welcome, everyone. Yeah, loads of games. Like everything from Action Force to Yogi Bear. <laughs> with everything in between, like Turtles, Mask. Oh, I've got my Mask t-shirt on tonight. There you go. Um, Flintstones, Thomas the Tank Engine, if you want to go for kiddie stuff. The Simpsons, Danger Mouse, Thundercats, Grange Hill. There's even a Doctor Who game on the Amstrad. Top Cat, Nightmare if we must. Real Ghostbusters, Airwolf. Although we did do Airwolf actually the other, the other week. Um, Knight Rider. Bloody, what's the one on the motorbike? That was a TV show. Oh, I've forgotten it now. Um, yeah, and plenty more in between. There's an 18 game, um, there's Top Cat, Super Grand, I think we did Super Grand on part one. So we did a we did a stream of this like last year, that was that was really fun. What did we do on part one? Um, on part one, I think the games we did on part one, we did do Trapdoor, we looked at the Young Ones, there was a Young Ones game, bloody hell, it wasn't very good. We did we did Scooby Doo and Scrappy Doo Challenge of the Go Bots. We did on part one. That was interesting. Uh, I think we looked at Postman Pat, Yogi's Great Escape, Ed the Duck, um, Gilbert Escape from Drill. That was Anna's favourite. Brave Star. We did actually look at Super Grand on part one, and we did Masters of the Universe. So those are the games we did on part one. So probably a maybe not do them again tonight uh but we'll get to requests uh, a little bit later on yeah yeah zauber schloss the animated series jesus jesus man shovel <laughs> anyway should we do the greetings get on the greetings get them over and done with and get into the games all right should we set a timer for 10 minutes if we can all right um oh there was something that came in during the start of the stream hang on what's this which bits, man shovel? Songs of joy and tears of laughter. All we need to lift our hearts. Hey, it's not a marble stream with Russ, but thank you, thank you, man shovel, for the one bit on Twitch. <laughs> thank you, man shovel. Thank you. All right, set a 10 minute timer. Let's go. Let's do this. Right. Uh, let's get my chat window. There we go. There you go. And you can see where I am on the greetings then. All right. Oh my goodness, Trey and It's Matt chit-chatting away before the stream started. And Edward as well. Welcome. And Bonsoir. Welcome, Trey and It's Matt. Chit-chatting away all the way at the start of the stream, along with Paul Hagger. Welcome, you crazy kids. Welcome. Welcome. How you doing, guys? Welcome. Um, so, hello, Matt and um, Trey. How you doing? Welcome, guys. Welcome. And Man Shovel, oi, 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 Man Shovel, thanks the bit there as well. Welcome, how you guys doing? You early birds there, eager beavers there. Welcome, welcome. And then we got Retro or Busts. Hello, Rob. 
How you doing? Welcome, my fellow Amstrada. Welcome, Rob. How's things? Welcome, mate. Welcome, welcome. And we've got a legend. That is Pete Walker. Welcome, sir. How's things, Pete? <laughs> Any dodgy curries? Are you on the turps or the toilet up tonight? Or are you taking it easy? Welcome, Pete. The lovely legend there. Welcome, Mr. Walker. Welcome. We've got um, next in. We've got, let's see who's in tonight. Um, next in is Jolly. Hello, the Jolly Jolly. No, I was just two minutes late starting tonight. I was uh, I was putting the little Minnie's iPhone late to bed tonight. He's been at a birthday party all late this evening. So, sorry for the two minute late start tonight. But anyway, welcome Jolly. Good evening, my fellow champion. Welcome Jolly. How you doing, mate? Uh, well done on marbles last night. Musa! How you doing, Musa? Welcome, mate. Looking forward to some classic action. Me too, my friends. Me too. Hopefully some good nostalgia tonight. Some good childhood memories, hopefully. Welcome, Musa. How's it going, mate? And we've got Mame Hayes. Welcome, Mame Hayes. Um, no screenshot quiz tonight. No, just lots of requests. Lots of games, lots of requests tonight. Welcome, Mame. And Barry has not got all the answers. He was just, he was just lucky. Or very, very clever. Or very, very good. Amasai. Welcome, Amasai. Hello, my friends. Welcome. Good evening to you too. How's tricks? Um, we've got German78 moshing into the stream. Um, I'm not actually sure what Lee Chon Lee, who, what his role was at Forest. Um, I don't know why he's been let go. But, um, no, you can take Shelby and Wood back, German. Please, please. <laughs> Simon Large. Hello, Simon. Says, can we have a green screen night? Dedicated to all those games made ten times harder. We had to play them on a green monitor. I'm looking at you, Bart versus Space Mutants. Oh, that could be a request tonight. Simpsons game. A green screen night. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. I'll have a think about that, Simon. I'll have a think about that. That's not a bad idea. What do we think of that, chat? A green screen night. I think that's a good idea or not, chat. And we'll um, rate the games whether they were playable or not on a green screen. Hmm... Then again, Novabook has done a, a whole series on his YouTube channel called, called It's Not Easy Being Green. Um, so I'd have to sort of play that with Novabook first. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Chiefy. Hello, Chiefy. Welcome. How you doing, Mr. Chief89? How's things, mate? How's the taxi in been today? Are you tired? <laughs> Knackered? Welcome, Chiefy. Edward Boucher. Bonsoir. Hello, Edward. How you doing? Come on, Sava. <laughs> Welcome, Edward. Welcome, my friend. Um, we also have a Paul Hager again. Hello, Paul. Anyone else looking forward to Guns N' Roses tomorrow night at Glastonbury? I wonder how they'll perform. I'll, I might watch a bit of the telly if it's if it's shown. Uh, I wonder how much uh, how much of it will be on the telly. They usually do small little highlights on the telly, don't they? Hmm. Mrs. Zypho, what's the matter? What's gone wrong? What's happened? Mini Zypho being a pain? Quiet on the baby monitor at the moment. What's the matter, babe? I'll have to go, um, I might have to go up and give her a hug in a minute. I don't know. Well, everyone give Mrs. Zypho lots of love and hugs, virtual hugs in the chat there. Oh, no. Um, got, uh, hello, Andrea. Andrea. Hello, Lady, uh, Lady uh, Andy. How's it going? How's the family, Andrea? Welcome, welcome. I mean, it's, oh, it's getting warm on my office. Let me put the fan on behind me. How's the family, Andrea? Welcome. Um, right, and we got CDJ there. Greetings, CDJ. Welcome, welcome. They never made a Blake 7 video game. I don't think they did, at least not on the Amstrad. Not that I'm aware of, if, unless anyone knows um, of one. Um... Street Hawk, that's what I was looking for, Paul Hager. Yeah. Street Hawk, that's the one. Oh, chat window re scrolled itself there. Anyway. Right, um, who's next? In? 80s Retro Gamer. Welcome in, 80s Retro Gamer. Foo Fighters for the 10th time at Glastonbury. Yeah, the perennial like festival band. Every year, it was, they were every year at Reading Festival, and then now every year at Glastonbury. 
the most successful rock band in the world at the moment, aren't they, I suppose? But yeah, anyway. Welcome, 80s Retro Gamer. How's it going? He owes me, do I? Yeah, it was a mini cycle went to a birthday party. I'm, I'm sleeping. It's during when I was sleeping. I need to sleep. Bloody hell. Never mind. Sorry, babe. <laughs> I did the last one before that, and I was there for blooming three times the length of time you were at the last one. This one. <laughs> You remember. Anyway. Um, right, anyway. Where was I? Next one. Uh, JJ. Hello, Jay. Welcome. Nice to see you back on the Am stream. How are you doing, my friend? Evening. Evening. How's it going, my friend? And we got Warzord the Board Time Lord arriving in his TARDIS. How's it going, Warzord? Nice to see you, my friend. Welcome in. And we got an Andy H. Hello, Andy. Nice to see you again, mate. Hope you enjoyed the marbles last night. Although you weren't there for whole whole of it, but... Uh, the little marbles you were there. I hope you had a good time. Welcome, Andy. Welcome, welcome. Did we play Jet Bike Simulator tonight? Um, I don't think it was a TV show in the 80s or 90s, Chief, unfortunately. Never mind. Um, Retro on Limb, Steve. Welcome, Steve. Um, on your break at work, or do we have you for the duration tonight, Steve? Welcome, Retro on Limb. Welcome, welcome. Green screen would be different. It might make a, a different type of stream. Um... Clanny! Hello, Clanny. You prefer green screen to colour? Hmm. Why is that, Clanny? Interesting. Welcome, Clanny. Nice to see you here tonight, Clanny. Welcome. Paying a homage to the Bug's Not Easy Being Green series. It could be a homage. I'll have to run it by Nova Bug. As long as you play Bridget on green screen, I agree. Oh, God. That's not an excuse to play Bridget. <laughs> colour versus green screen night. Hmm. Yeah, green screen scope would be good. Yeah. I need a green screen and I'm colorblind. Interesting to try. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, also, I'll excuse you playing Puzzle Bubble again if you do it green. <laughs> right. Um, I tried playing Clax on green screen. That was interesting. Yeah. Green screen Endor. Retro on them. Uh. Fine, thanks, Elf. Good to hear, Edward. How's your coding going on the Amstrad project? Hope it's going well, Edward. Uh, Simon, it definitely wasn't easy being green. Spray the purple objects. What's purple you mean? Oh, on Simpsons game. Yes, you have to find the purple objects. That would be the perfect game to start with. Wasn't... Oh, yeah, and Whizball. Didn't you have to find cut the coloured objects on Whizball as well? Whizball and Simpsons. They'd, they'd be the first two games to test, wouldn't it? Uh oh! Uh oh! I was doing so well on the greetings, of one minute left as well. Ferret Hardware has done 81 pounds. Request Red Heat. <laughs> is that GP or is that Man Shovel? Oh, my camera went out of sync there. That let's let's see the pumpkins in the chat. I think that was man shovel. Man shovel, thank you for the one pound. Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat for man shovel. Thank you, man shovel. <laughs> thank you, man shovel, for the one pound there. Let's see those bananas or pumpkins in the chat for man shovel. <laughs> Red heat. You're not looking for red objects in red heat, so that wouldn't be any good for the uh, green screen stream if we ever did one. <laughs> Where was I? Um, hello, Jack Thursby. Hello, Jack. Welcome, my friend. Welcome in. I've got three seconds left. Damn it. I ne Damn it, man. Shovel. I was so close to getting all the greetings done. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, let me um, finish this off very quickly then. Um, welcome, Jack. Welcome. Um, where was it? Mr. Zen Zero. Hello, Mr. Zen Zero. Hey, how you doing, my friend? Welcome. Andrew says, all good here, thanks. Hope you're ones are well, too. We're getting there. We're good. Well, I think we're good. Thanks for asking, Andrea. Um, Darren Carl. Welcome, Darren. How's it going, my friends? Beer in hands. Kind of night off. Hello. Hello, Darren. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Miami Vice long play tonight. Not a chance in hell. Although it does count as a TV show. I should have put that on the thumbnail. Damn it. I, I missed Miami Vice, but I don't want to play that tonight. 
Um, there was a spitting image game. That could have got on the thumbnail, Jack. It could have got on the thumbnail. Missed that off. Damn it. Right, who have I missed coming in? Oh, I'm nearly at the bottom of the chat. Excellent. Excellent. Right. Um, uh, you're off work for two months. Oh, mate. Retro and lame. Retro and lame. Of course. Right, I, I didn't realize you'd be signed off. So, dude, Michael Dolan is again. Retro and lame. We'll try and cheer you up tonight. Take your mind off things as best we can. I'm still not playing Miami Vice, though. <laughs> okay. All right, lots of love, Steve. Lots of love, mate. We'll do our best. GP! Cheeky GP! Hello, GP! How's it going, GP? Mwah. Welcome, GP. How, how's things, mate? Run the gauntlet. That was a TV show, Trey. Yes, that could be included tonight. You're just super nostalgia for green screen, I suppose. Ah, oh, it's nostalgia. Nostalgia. I get it. I get it, Clanny. Um... Yes, Gorbachev versus Thatcher fight in the Spitting Image game. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyone else welcome in quickly? I'm going to have to skip through things. Robin Hawk. Hello, Robin. Welcome. How's it going, Robin? Nice to see you here, mate. Welcome. Thank you for your support as always, dude. Um, there was a Sooty and Sweet game. That could be a good... That would be a good request, Simon. That would be a good request. Right. And Magic Knight. Hello, Magic Knight. Welcome. Welcome, Magic Knight. How's it going, my friend? Welcome, welcome. Okay. And... Right. I think I've caught up with everyone and said hello to everyone. I think. Right. Cool. Let me have a quick drink. Right. If I've missed saying hello to anyone, please say hello again in the chat and I'll give you a big hello. Where are we? 26 minutes into the stream and I think I've done the greetings. I think that's pretty good. I think that is pretty good for me. I think my view account's got stuck again. Let me refresh that. Zero. Come on, view account. There we go. That's better. That is pretty good for me with the... Uh, Reading, so yeah. The 18 Spanish only game. I did a long plane review of that earlier this year or end, end of last year, I think. Um, right, okie dokie. Right, so let's um start with first game of the night. Let's pick a really good, interesting one, like a big. Let's start with a big game. Let's start with a big game or a big TV show that everyone knows. So, um, suggestions in the chat for the first game. I'm not going to write down everyone's request here this time. Um, the, after this first game, and then I'll start taking like maybe like the first five interesting games or something like that. So, let's pick a good one to start with. Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo. I think we might have did that one on the last stream yeah scooby doo and scrappy doo we did that on the uh, part one last year but good suggestion good suggestion because that was a really good game that was the game we started the part one request like with last year clanny excellent suggestion though i literally picked that as the, the game to start with the, the the part one stream with last year airwolf 2 night reader night rider sorry Um, turtles. Maybe too big, too obvious. I don't know. Turtles is a good one though. Wombles, Postman Pat, Grange Hill, Turtles Coin Up. Oh, it's a big one. Thundercats. Ooh. Scooby Doo without Scrappy. Pat. Why did I say Night Reader? I don't know why I said Night Night Reader. Night Reader. I knew there was a knock. It's a knockout game. There was it. There was a, an, an it's a knockout game. Magic Knight, like Ocean Software. They buried that one fairly quickly. Rampage. TV game. This TV show. I know they made a movie of that eventually. That doesn't really count though. TV shows. Hong Kong Fooey. Adrian Mole. There wasn't. I think there was an Adrian Mole game. One of the Popeye games. 
Biker Grove. I don't think they made a Biker Grove game. Hong Kong Fury. Jops. Hello, Jops. Welcome in. We're looking for TV game uh, TV shows. Werewolves of London's a movie. Welcome, though, Jops. Welcome, Hong Kong Fury. I suppose we could do a bit of Turtles. No. Bit obvious, though. Cobra's a movie, Retro on Limb. Blockbusters. Do you know what? We could do a little bit of Blockbusters later on. Maybe. Although my, I had a special like scene set up on my stream for Blockbusters, but the plugin for it's broken. I obviously did a type in Blyker Grow game and sent it into Zap64. <laughs> Look, Blues Brothers is a movie. There is an 18 game. There is an 18 game. Nightmare. <laughs> Death Wish is a movie. B. Hey. There is a Bullseye game. There is a Bullseye game, yes. But it's a light gun. Actually, no, they did a, a joystick keyboard version of the Bullseye game. Oh, God. Right. Thundercats might be a good one to start with. Should we do Thundercats? Or Turtles? Have we had Turtles? Turtles has, has been a bit done to death on the stream before. Monsters. And there's Bully Sporting Dots. Thundercats is a banger. Two people saying Thundercats. Free for Thundercats. Go on then. A quick bit of Thundercats. Oh, and Win Apes crashed. Amazing. All right. Let's take the... Um... Go on then. We'll do a quick bit of Thundercats just to start things off. Because everyone likes a bit of Thundercats. Cracked version. Should have the original disc, actually. Do you want pokes? Who, who doesn't want a bit of poking? You cats got a bit stuck. So, a bit of Thundercats. All right, who was a big Thundercats fan back in the day? You love Thundercats. Lawn Boy just reviewed that one too on his YouTube channel. Cool. The A team. We could have a look at the A team as well, Andrea. Yeah. Spanish only game as well. Quite a few people requesting Thundercats. Yeah. Rainbow should have been a game. Yeah, Clanny. Yeah. EastEnders game. Um. The actually. Never came out on the Amstrad. It did on the Spectrum, I remember. EastEnders. Sadly, never made it to the Amstrad, fortunately. It was advertised, I think. No, never came out on the Amstrad. You do get some good Rob Hubbard music here. I think it's Rob Hubbard. Let me just double check. Originally, this is Rob Hubbard tune, but it's converted by David Whitaker to the Amstrad, if I remember correctly. But it's not the Thundercats theme. Where's it? Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da right. Perhaps they didn't get the license for the music. So, still a good tune this though, I'm pretty sure there wasn't a Biker Growth game though German sadly, I will double double check but I'm 99% sure, no there was no Biker Growth game. <laughs> Uh, Jimmy wasn't keen on this game. 
Thundercats. Uh, hey, Julian. Julian, Brodel, Bonsoir. Thundercats for the Hubbard music. Uh, Thundercats for Hubbard music. Yes, that's right, Julian. That's right. Sorry, yes. You did actually say that in the chat as well. Nivrig. Hello, Nivrig. It was a big Cheetara fan. I wonder why. <laughs> Uh, JJ2018 was a big cheat, uh, big, loved a bit of Cheetara. Paul Hagger had a big crush on Cheetara. Why did you, why did everyone have a big crush on Cheetara? Let's have a look. Why did you all have a crush on Cheetara? <laughs> nah! Wow, let me just turn my shit like I wonder why Oh dear Was this like your first um first crush is? Hands up in the chat if Cheetaro is your first crush. Oh bless. Uh, this oh that's more like fan art, isn't it? I can see why, chat. I can see why. The intro is so good in Thundercats. Best cartoon intro ever. I wish I could show it on stream, but I will get copyright claimed up there. Um, in by the morning. This is Zypho Love Thundercats. Uh, not a fan of cartoons as clearly, but I like this game. But 90% from Amsterdam Action was a bit balmy. Did it really get 90% from Amsterdam Action? I can't remember. I did the video a few years ago on my channel, and I forgot what they gave it. 90%. Wow. Uh, was I playing coy to Mrs. Uh, because Mrs. Zai is watching. I gotta be honest with you, they freaking chat. I didn't really watch uh, Thundercats. Um, I was a, I, I never really watched Thundercats. I don't know why. I, I was a big Mask. I used to watch Mask a lot. And I used to watch, um, a little bit of Transformers. But I never really watched Thundercats growing up. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh. But yeah. Dungeons and Dragons was one of the best. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I watched a little bit of that. Zyfo fans is showing up from White Zombie. I mean, I was a little, quite a bit older than that. That's 10 years on from my te uh, bloody Thundercats and Mask, Mrs. Zy. Um, I, I, will, I will tell Mrs. Zyfo my crushes when I was growing up. She knows them anyway. Um, she was fast, Chitara. That why, is that why you liked her? It's that. Uh, just watch the cats roar. The crush is over. <laughs> See, I never watched it either. Uh, the, that was the recent remake, wasn't it? Best for the cats episode was the one with the space prison. Hello, Gambit. Welcome in, Gambit. Um, no Dog Tanyan game. What a disgrace! <laughs> I like Dog Tanyan. Yeah. Um, GP had a crush on Jeffrey from Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Bonsoir, Julien. Bonsoir. Uh, which are the best themes? Thunder... Uh, Jack has a good question there. Which are the best themes? Thundercats. Ulysses 3-1. That's good. I like Ulysses. I, I heard that recently. Uh, pole position. I don't remember pole position. Jason with Warriors or Mask? Ooh. Mask. It's the intro to Mask. do 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 literally makes the hairs on my arm stand up every time. Goosebumps. The intro to Mask. I'm going Mask. You have a poll in the chat. You're missing out Transformers though as well. Suggestions in the chat for the best uh, cartoon theme and I'll put a poll. I would I would add in Cities of Gold, Mysterious Cities of Gold, as a, one of the best theme tunes. J 
JJH, you mentioned it there as well. Cities of Gold is one game they missed out on. Would have been so good. I agree. Not many people remember Mysterious Cities of Gold, but that one made a great game, and he had one of the best theme tunes as well. Jim will fix it would have been a great game, says Rashawn Liam. God. Right, I'll start on the game very shortly instead of chit-chatting. Right. Okay. It's nice having a chit-chat with you all, though. DuckTales. Never made it to the Amstrad. Great game on the NES, though. Hello, Anna. Welcome, Anna. Where have you crawled out from this evening? she -ra kicked ass. She did, uh, um, Mrs. I and um, Andrea. He had his own house, Cypher. What did Thundercats have for furballs? Good point, GP. Real Ghostbusters was great. That was my other favourite. Real Ghostbusters. Okay. Right, let's, let's have a quick play. Sorry, guys. Mumra, the ever-living, holds the Eye of Thundera. Dare you search for it. Let's search for it. Right, I need to destroy this thing. You've got to get the timing of your swings just right. It's a hack and slash game. Oh. It's a bit Rastani, but I think this came out before Rastan, I think. Oh no, because that's th that little guy, that little dude's got stuck in that um, bit at the bottom there. I had to go backwards. Bloody hell. <laughs> German, 78. German, German, German. Thank you. Hang on, get the dancing sugars going. Once they start scratching at the carpet, puking on the rug and urinating in the flower bed, that school down south will change their stance on the pupil who identifies as a cat. What? What's that about? Uh, German, thank you very much for the one pound there. Bananas in the chat. Bananas in the chat for German there. Thank you, German. Uh, once they start scratching the carpet, peeking the rug, and urinating the flower, but that school down south will change their stance and the pupil who identifies as a cat. I, I have no idea what that is about. So I, I don't really read the news that much. I just... Uh, I don't buy newspapers. I don't, I don't tend to read the news. I have no idea what that is about, Jervin. But thank you very, very much for the pound. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Jervin. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> thank you, Jervin. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let the bananas ring down for Jervin there. Thank you. Uh, there is a kid that says he's a cat. Right, okay. And I guess the school doesn't like that or something like that. Um, yeah. Thank you, thank you, German. <laughs> oh, Chiefy! Um, Super Chanky, I'll keep the dancing sugars going. Right. Super Chat and coming. Thank you, Chiefy! Oh, it takes a while to uh, pick up on the, um, on, on the alerts there. There we go, there we go. Chiefy! Thank you for the free Euros, Chiefy. Thank you, mate. Thank you, Chiefy. Bless you, mate. Thank you. He doesn't get... Sorry, you don't get a, a, a text-to-speech on uh, Super Chats, but covering a coffee or a cup of tea. Bless you, Chiefy. I raise you a can of um, cloudy apple juice. Thank you, Chiefy. Go and chin chin. Thank you, Chiefy. Thank you, matey. Bananas in the chat for Chiefy there as well. Thank you, thank you. Let the bananas rain down for Chiefy. Thank you for the free euros. And German, thank you very much as well, mate, for the pounds. 
and uh, the uh, the cat joke. Thank you, Jermin, as well. Cheers, matey. I appreciate that as well, Jermin. And thank you, Chiefy, for three euros. Right. I'll take off the uh, dancing sugars now. Um, oh, yeah. I was asking uh, best, best uh, music. Uh, real, uh, so, um, oh yeah, where did you call from, Anna? Sorry. Uh, right. Top 5 80s cartoons, Jer oh, your top 5 80s cartoons, Jeremy. Masters of the Universe, Transformers, Thundercats, Mask, Real Ghostbusters. That is a solid list there, Jeremy. That's a solid list. Bella Emberg was your crush, Gambit. <laughs> <laughs> All reports about Bella Emberg was she was a really, really lovely person, Bella Emberg, by the way. Lots of people saying she was a really lovely person in real life. Sadly, though, she had a bit of a drinking problem, apparently. Drank way too much. But anyway. Um, uh, real Ghostbusters is great, yeah. APS 80s Fiending Repole Position, German78 says. Um... I might have done a Centurions game, Paul. Let's go looking for that. Banana Man game. Banana Man. Sadly not on the Amstrad. Banana Man, if I spelled that correctly. No, I don't think they did a Banana Man game. Wow. Hello, Claude Rains. Darren, how you doing, mate? Welcome. Cities of Gold was a French-Japanese creation. I think it was, Julian. Yes. Yeah. Starfleet. That was a great theme tune, Zen Zero. Yes. Best theme, Pink, Fan Pink Panther. Yeah. Oh, jolly. That's a good call. Um. Yeah, we have real Ghostbusters on DVD, Mrs. Zypho says. Yeah. We'll let Mrs. Mini Zypho watch that when he's a little bit older, I think. Um, Lino looks like Braveheart on there. <laughs> Does a little. Yeah. Um, this game was repurposed from a different game. That's why. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um. Henri! Bonsoir! Salut! Come on, Savoir, Henri! How you doing, Henri? <laughs> right. So... Oh no, Mumra the Ever Living is gonna is on our ass. Quick, 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 quick. We made it. Friends of the Earth is decent on the Amstrad. Ooh, that's that might be a good request, Jage. Uh and here we go on the next level. Ah, now we have No! God, it's so easy to fall off platforms. Now we have a laser gun. Now, hang on, chat. Did um, Lino ever get a laser pistol to shoot in Thundercat? I can't remember. I can't remember. Did Lino ever get a laser gun to shoot? Or did he always have his sword? I can't remember. A bearing of cat people. So this game, uh, you may remember from my long plane review video. Um, they got um, elite were in a, elite software were in a panic because they got let down uh, by the coders. They were they got to do their Thundercats game, and they went around hunting for someone to do a Thundercats game in time for Christmas. Similar story, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they found Gargoyle Games. They made that Dundurak game. And they were working on a game called Samurai Dawn or something like that. And um, they were they managed to um, basically nick that game. And it was a slow walking samurai slash game. Slash em up type thing. And they, re and they managed to um, basically take that game and turn it into Thundercats. Repurposed the sprites and rejigged them just enough to turn it into a lino sprite. 
He doesn't really look very lino, though, does he? That's the thing. Yeah, where's my win eight capture? Oh. Where's my win eight capture? Uh, window capture. Let's have a look at him. Close up. Oops. Yeah, it's he's not very Lion-O esque, is he? It's uh, he does look more like a more generic barbarian type character. Uh, it's passable. It's passable for Lion-O. Yeah, yeah. All right, okay. Uh, but no, he never had a he never had like a laser pistol. Wasn't there a TV series based on Red Heat? Sadly not, Paul. Sadly not. Red Heat never even got a bloody sequel, so... Every Elite game was fun to cats, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> um... Uh... Looks like Jason Voorhees. <laughs> Looks good. Looks like Novabug with a cucumber. Nova bug with a cucumber. What? Lino after a dodgy curry. Uh, the hover vehicle this game was ahead of its time. Uh, the amount of time I spent playing the hover was great. As for Lino, it was a tad mare. Sorry, Cypher, I couldn't resist. Looks like Chris Holmes from Wasp. Hello, Fugazi. He does look a bit Chris Holmes-esque. Or maybe one of the dudes from Man of War. <laughs> hey, Fugazi, how you doing? <laughs> All right, okay. Mate, we'll get to the hover vehicle level, and then we'll call it there for Thundercats, and we can do a vote out of ten. Oh, that's a sword. We don't want the sword back. We want to keep the laser pistol. Even though the laser pistol, I don't, uh, as far as I know, was never featured in Thundercats. Oh, you sod. Uh-oh, Lino's going to appear. Actually, you don't get Lino appear. You just get loads of schools, I think, flying at you. So you don't actually get Lino coming at you. He just appears at the top and then just sends loads of, like, flying schools or blocks at you. So it's a bit of a cheat, anyway. I'll show you that. I'll show you what happened. Oh, sorry, not Lino. Mumra. Mumra! Sorry. Thank you, Anna. Th thanks for correcting me there. I'm getting confused. I know. Lino coming up to some Mumra. Mumra, the ever-living mummy thing. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Rescue Tigra for the bonus of 25,000 points. You get a nice picture of Lino there. There. Bumra. Oh, I hate this level. If you die once, you're out. You gotta go, go to the left now. You get these guys of saw, a shield, sorry. You've got to shoot them from behind. Oh! And you're out. No mission bonus. <laughs> hey, welcome in Happy Pride. I need to play this game soon on MAME, of course. If you've got an Amstrad uh, call set up in May, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Plenty of uh, Amstrad emulators out there. I'm using Win8 to play this on. Welcome in, welcome in. Um, Mumra was the only cartoon buddy that freaked me out. Really, Anna? Scared of mummies? 
Pretty sure Gladiators would have been a good game. Yeah. But it was only popular in like the mid 90s, long after the Amstrad's commercial demise, unfortunately. Oh, choose your way through the Garden of Elementals. I forgot it gave you a bit of a path through the game. We'll go to the fire. Oh, uh, is this the level? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you get the. Hang on, where's the. Where's the hovercraft? What? Where's the hover um, hovercraft thing? Is it bugged out? Uh... Oh, it's here. It's further along. Beardo! How you doing, Beardo? Right, this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. Alright, we've only got one life left, though. And look. There you go. Bit of speed! Arse! Oh, is that game over? There you go. After all that. Right, boys and girls, what do we think to Thundercat? Do we think that is a good game? Or do you think it's a fun or, or do we think is it Thundercats or Thunder Twat? What score out of ten do we give that? Beardo, how you doing? Just in time for some Thundercats. Welcome again, mate. How's it going, Beardo? Welcome, welcome. Um, I can't remember what score out of 10 I gave this on my um, review, long plane review video. I, I think I did a long plane review, I think last year, start of last year. What the hell, did, what score out of 10 did I give this? I'm gonna look at my notes. I think I get um seven out of ten. Six and a half. Somewhere around there. Six. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go six out of ten, actually. I think it's a really frustrating game, and uh, the longer you play it, the realize you realize how hard and stupidly difficult and bloody annoying it is. Seems initially kind of fun, but the longer you play it, and if you want to beat the bloody thing, the more annoying and harder it gets, and uh, agonizingly hard. I'll give it a six out of ten. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, look at my notes. I gave it 6 out of 10 in my uh, long plane review. There you go. Alright. Right, so what are people saying there? Uh, Retroling gives it a 7. Gambit a 7. Beardo, 10 out of 10. TV, uh, original 80s cartoon, probably 10 out of 10. That's the game, I don't know. Terrible Coffin is 6. There was a Thunder Cats game by Ansoft. Oh, Mumra. <laughs> uh, Robin gives it a 7. Uh, Blunder Shats. T Hello, Terrible Coffin. Magic Knight, 6 out of 10 for the nostalgia. Anna a 6. Claw says, give it, kill it with fire. Clanny an 8. JJH, a uh, solid 7. Main Maze AR10 seems decent enough. Manship was 7 and, uh, 7.75. Uh, Delicious 6, hopefully, we'll see how it's good, good speed. Uh, so, 6.5 out of 10. Julian, 6 out of 10. Benny for the Hopper Music. Barry, a 7.5. This is Zypho, a 7. Peter, 7. Henri, an 8. It's above average. Pagazi, an 8. Uh, Jeff Lesby, a 6. Andrea, 6. 
Just Jade. Hello, Just Jade. Welcome in. Six. Thunderclats. Wonder twats. Noble Savage. Hello, Noble the Savage. And eight. Hey, Velo. Welcome, Velo. Six out of ten. Horrible game. Fantastic music. Hello, everybody. Hello, Velo. Welcome in. This is N06. Andy H. Three out of ten. Never enjoyed this one. The Huns Tat. The Huns Tat. What? The Huns Tat. Oh, it's an anagram of Thundercats. I rearranged with the letter. Two LJ and license. That's funny. <laughs> Ali got an LJ and license. Did LJ and license this in America? That's got to be a man shovel dono, hasn't it? Thank you, man shovel. I'm guessing that's man shovel. I got that right away. Pumpkins in the chat for man shovel. That is a man shovel dono, hundred percent. Thank you, man, shovel. Oi, oi. LJ again owned Thundercats. Holy crap. Thank you, man, shovel. The knowledge there. All right. All right, time to move on from Thundercats then. Right. Enough of the music there, because everyone's going to get sick of that. Even if it is good, a good tune. Right. What should be... The next game, boys and girls. Right. Pumpkins or Pundercats. Right. Okay. Suggestions for the next game. What should be the next game? Uh, all right. I'll catch you back here in a little bit. Uh, restaurant. You get the beers in, mate. You get the beers in. I worked out an anagram. I know. I'm getting used to them now. Cypher, what is the story with Specky Ports? Time crunch or just laziness? A bit of both, I'd say. Mostly, um, the game publishers and managers not giving enough time um, to developers. Uh, and the Amstrad being like the third machine behind this Commodore 64 and Spectrum in terms of priorities, unfortunately. And get the same like, you've got two weeks to get the Amstrad version done. Just put the Spectrum version over. That'll be quick. Right. Knight Rider, Defense of the Earth, or Jack the Nipper. Jack the Nipper wasn't a TV show, but Defense of the Earth and Knight Rider was. Run the gauntlet. Pole position. Pole position didn't get a... Uh, that's a t uh, you see, few, pe few people mentioned that cartoon. And... Um, I never knew that was that there was a cartoon. And some people mentioned that as having great feet, uh, music. But... Um, Never got a game on the Amstrad. Huxley Pig saying that Run the Gauntlet is a good one. Yeah, Wacky Races. Ooh. Wacky Races. Crystal Maze getting an Amstrad game. That's a good call. Crystal Maze. No, never did, sadly. Pink Panther. There is a Pink Panther game. Hello, Smoothie. Welcome in, Smoothie. We need a proper Thundercats beat em up. Yeah, Pole Position was an arcade. It's so a Pole Position arcade game came first, and then they made a cartoon on it. It's a bit like how Pac-Man came first and then they made a cartoon on it. Well, didn't they? Yeah. Knight Rider wasn't so good. Hello, Smoothie. Moonwalking into the stream. Hello, young Malk. <laughs> Too bad Ulysses never got a good got, got a game. Not as far as I know, Henri. Not as far as I know. There is a freaking Pink Panther game, though. That's interesting. Oh, Potpourri is OSG. The cartoon was nothing to do with pole position, though. Was it not? Simpsons. Ooh. 
I'm sure there's a combat school cartoon. No. What's Treasure Hunt on the Amstrad? Turtles. Attempt to buy. We have done a lot of turtles over time. Fury. Transformers. Transformers never made it to the Amstrad. I'm. I'm. I, I've never played Pink Panther on the Amstream before. I'm going to download the disc. Oh. GP? What the hell? Is this the real GP? I really want to come back as a ferret and run up Zypho's trouser leg and then bury my little head between his warm furry cheeks. <laughs> what the fart? <laughs> Is that the real GP? Jesus. Is that someone posing as GP? Holy crap, thank you very much, the three pounds. I really want to come back as a ferret and run up Zypho's trouser leg and then bury my little head between his warm furry cheeks. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you pulled Zypho. Um, bloody hell, bananas in the chat for GP. Is that the real GP? It was. It was actually the real GP. <laughs> Bloody hell. Alright, th thank you, GP. <laughs> thank you, GP. Um, okay. Okay. Fine. That's fine. <laughs> Exclamation mark GP. M Mrs. Ifo wants to as well. <laughs> Let's see what you're up to at the moment. Who hasn't dreamed that of that at least one, said Fagazi. You're up to 387 inches. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let's have a look, the, look at the Pink Panther game. Wow. I never knew this was on the Amstrad. I, have I never played this before? I don't think I've ever played this before on the Amstream. Does anyone remember me ever playing this? Look at this. Remlin graphics. Remlin graphics. Magic bites. Right, actually the chat window's in the way again. Wow. This must be like super a super rare game. Wow. I've never seen this on like eBay or anywhere before. I don't think I've ever played this before. Great request. A great request, this. Okay. Right, let's have a look at Pink Panther. I wonder if it's got the music. Right, okay. Uh, is that okay? Would you like a pet ferret? I think, I don't know if it's legal to have pet ferrets. Um, is it legal to have a ferret anymore? I don't know. What's going on? It, oh, it's loading. No, I had to press space bar. Uh, Paul, you had this. Was it any good, Paul? That's a nice, that's nice. Nice loading screen there. Ferrets are totally legal. Ah. We had this discussion on um, Jedi Chick Lex's stream. They're not legal in America, I think. Anymore. I think they banned them in America as pets, though. That's why I was asking if they're legal here. Certain states are they? Oh, oh, oh is it man shovel? Do 
John Kimball had a ferret in the uh, kindergarten car. Oh yeah. Jobs. Oh. What do we have to do? Level one or no work? I press left. I thought you could move around the screen or something. Where's the do 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 music? Huh? Go to the desert island? What's the desert island? That's nice. What do we do now? Graphics are lovely. Just have, have a chill on the island. Semi automatic rifle legal, skinny rat pet illegal. <laughs> yeah. America. Um, Real Lodi. Hello, Real Lodi. I, I think I've just locked the game up. I'm pressing fire button, space bar, and I can't go back. I think I've like literally just ended the game. <laughs> Zoe, you should have read what main base but. This is all the Desert Island does. You have to reload the game now, I think. Or at least did on the tape copy. Escape. Right, do not set the island. It's a joke that just soft locks the game. Ah, 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 ah. Right, I'm going to have to load it up again. Right, I missed that in the chat. Yeah. Sorry, May Maze. Thanks, uh, Mrs. I as well. We could do game show games. I think if we do a game show game, it should be like last game of the night and we do like a little quiz to end the stream on. So yeah, don't choose. Don't choose a desert island. We won the game! Yes, we won Pink Panther. <laughs> Can you go back a screen? No. It, no, we're stuck. All right, man, Shovel. Uh, we'll catch you back in a little bit. Right, should we go to the market? I don't know. I don't know what we have to do. I need a hat. Money, money. But I haven't got any money. Nice graphic. So I think I got caught. You have to make sure the little man doesn't wake up. Uh, what do I have to do here? Oops. 
he, I think he, I think he walked into the wall. Ah, uh, okay, right, okay, 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 okay. I think I pushed him there. Got a, when he comes here, here he comes. No, 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 no! How do, how do you push him? He's like, I think he's like Sleepwalker. Yes, use the various items to move the little man around the obstacles. I managed to push him. Uh, oh, previously. Did this end up like a long play? You have to make sure the guy doesn't walk over in like triple pull. Right, yeah. Sakes. Let me load it up again. Right, okay. Byron left made Pink Panther do that. And he seemed to like make him like walk up there. Because he's in it as a long play. I'm not, not gonna spend too long on it tonight. Let's just like work out just some, some game mechanics and then we'll move on tonight. I wanna try and get as, uh, as many game requests in as we can. But okay, I'm liking the look of this. We figured something out there, chat. We figured something out there. It's lovely and peaceful on the island. Yes. You don't push him. He follows the sound of the bell. Oh. How do you do the bell? Perhaps I should open the manual up while this is loading. Uh, well, how do you jingle the bell? So, uh, main phase. Uh, so, the, uh, you don't push him, he follows the sound of the bell. Hey, Mirko! Welcome, mate. Hello everyone, I had this game as a kid and wanted to uh, so bad now to play. It was one of the few games that had in-game music and I love Amsterdam music. I love the graphics here as well, Mirko. I went with it public, but that was the one thing I was jealous of my friend with the C64. Oh, I know, that Sid chip. That darn Sid chip in the C64, Mirko. It was awesome. Welcome, Mirko. Uh, and v Velo, yeah, I don't mean long play tonight. I mean, you'll come back to it later. Yeah, probably, Velo. Probably. Oh, yeah, I think we have to go to the market first to find out that we need to buy a hat. And that... And that we need money and that we don't have money. So we need to go and get a job. We need a hat. What I'm going to do, I'll take a snapshot here so we don't... Uh... Yeah, let's get a little snapshot here. Just just as a test. Uh, pink and... Uh... Oh, come on. Ah! Firing up, does the bell. Firing up, did the bell.
What? Why, why, what, 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 why didn't he, why didn't he like that? The shell. He didn't like the shell. Huh? Why doesn't he like that? You were doing the jingle, the bell is just one of the things you can use there. Okay. Uh, the thought bubble down the bottom is the currently selected item. The default item is the bell. Okay. Alright, okay, yeah. So the pick fan for sport bell, the thought there is the bell. Right, okay. Hey, Stephanie! Welcome, Stephanie! Been very, very hectic, but great. I missed you all. Yeah, we miss you too, Stephanie. I hope you've been okay. I've got a new cat. His name is Poco. Oh, lovely. Nice. What kind of cat is he? Is he short hair, long hair, fluffy? The a tabby? Uh, ginger? What? Tell us more about Poco. At some point in the game, says Odie, he can catapult the little man for a wall outside. Play near. It crashes soon afterwards, but I found that really funny. Really? So... What am I doing wrong here? Oh, oh, sorry. Um, what requests have been said? We've had Thundercats earlier, and this is a... This is only the second game. So he can't walk on here. And he can't go there. What, what are we doing wrong? Right. Right. Okay. I'm going to pause it here. What the fuck do I do here? Um, does anybody know? Um, so he can't walk over here. Uh, find out what the change item key is. He can't walk under the shelf. That gets you. Oh. Is that a dog in the way? Do we have to get rid of the dog? I can... I can walk... I can walk on the... Is that a dog? I thought it was a rug. I thought it was a rug. Find out what the change item key is. Joystick... Call up selection menu. Joystick down and fire. Actually, let's load up the first one. Ah. Okay, I've worked it out. I don't know what the hell that was. Um, Fred, uh, Wigner, bonsoir, salut, from France, and to everyone, I hope everyone is doing good tonight. Okay, so, uh, okay, save that there. Yeah, I have no idea what, how you get over that. Uh, Mozo, but you do need to use a different item there to get him past it. Right, okay. Bloody hell. I am... I have no idea. I have no idea how to get him over that rug. <laughs> hey, Mikey and Jamie. Hey, how's it going, Mikey? Nice to see you, my friend. How's things? 
How's things with the, um, are you doing a play at the moment or uh, doing kind of a panto play? Welcome, Mikey. Um, you learn your score from six to three. It's, uh, it's way too difficult. It's way too difficult. I don't know what that bubble thing is. I don't know what that bubble thing is doing. Right, so we do bell. Basically, you just put that spring thing there, but it takes ages to put down. Okay. Oh my god, you're right. You're right. He was nearly there. I nearly did it. Guys, I'm done. I think I think I'm done. I think I'm done with Pink Panther. Can I give it one more try? I nearly I nearly had it there. I nearly had it there. It to be drop quicker with dropping the seesaw. Should I try dropping it at the top? I think you have to call him down with the bell. Yeah. Uh, Stephanie says her cat Poco is a Russian blue. Ooh, that's fancy. They are great for people with allergies. I have no allergy to him. I'm very, very happy. Oh, Stephanie, that's lovely. That's lovely. Russian blue. Yeah. Wow. Don't know why the Pink Panther films never makes the cartoon Pink Panther more the films. No tech, I guess. Uh, yeah, and I guess. I guess, yeah. Oh. Uh, you need a spring block thing, not... You need a spring block thing, not the seesaw, and you can drop it at the top, yes. I'm doing the wrong thing, then. All right, then. I'll give that a try. I'll give that... Where's the spring block thing? It's it's that. Right, okay. It, oh, it disappeared! I just... It, it disappears if I walk over it. What? What is this glitchiness? Go. I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Bloody hell. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Actually, that was a lot easier. That was a lot easier than do, trying to get the bloody seesaw thing and ring the, ring the bell for him to, like, come down. He had to, like, choose the, 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 the seesaw thing. And then select the bell, and then ring the bell to call him down. That's a lot easier. Oh my god! Actually, I mean, this is quite quite a cool game. Actually, let's see how far we go. Let's see how far we go. 
Re you may want to revise your scores. Oh, 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 oh no, 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 no. I should have taken a save. I think I've screwed it up, guys. God, God, God. Okay. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Hang on. A save, save, save. I think I might have screwed this up. Oh, God. It crashed! It freaking crashed! What? It crashed. I don't know what happened there. It just glitched. Look, look. No! Exactly. Or, or did that gramophone... Oh, no, 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 no. If you look closely, there's a gramophone thing. Is that playing? Does that wake him up? Am I supposed to turn that off? Is that like a gram... Uh, ah! Is that a record... Does he walk past the record player? Is that actually blasting music out? And Does, does, does that wake him up? Uh, am I supposed to turn this thing off? Uh, because I I bet you this is waking. Ah, uh, uh, is that what's waking him up? Bloody hell! This is like an early sleepwalker. Sleepwalker ripped this game off, basically. Fucking hell! Magic bites and Gremlin graphics should have sued them. I think he walked into you. Did he? I don't know what's going on. Reload, reload. Oh boy, I've, I've screwed it up. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. All right, scores out of 10 for Pink Panther. I think maybe this might be unfair. I think I'm playing... Guys, 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 guys and girls, girls, girls. I think I'm playing this really badly. And I think I'm maybe giving an unfair impression of the game. I think there's a good game under this surface. I think I've not read... One, I've not read the manual. Uh, let me just refresh my view count. It's got stuck. One, I've not read the manual, and I'm two. I'm bumbling through the game really badly, and I'm not understanding the game mechanics. Uh, and three, you can see there's like really lovely graphics and cool music, but they're not used the proper Pink Panther music. Where's the? Maybe that might come in later in the game. Possibly, but it's been the same music playing right from the start as soon as the game's loaded all the way through and it's not changed, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I think there's a good game under this surface. I think I'm just a bumbling idiot bumbling through the game like Inspector Clouseau. <laughs> uh, I think there's a good game under the surface there, so I'm tentat tentatively giving this an 8 out of 10, but I think... Um, there's, there may be something co quite good here. I think I'm going to play this on Twitch in the week. I think I'm going to read the manual and then I'm going to play this on Twitch and have a good playthrough of it or something. Because uh, I think there's something quite good here lurking under the surface. If it's arse, it's arse. Ar Anna, arse candled the highest command with arse ticks and gruff nut boulder with arse grapes and an industrial sandblaster firing at it. Two out of ten. I would rather walk on my arse across the desert than play this. Oof! Anna! Right. But yeah. Okay. Um, man out of time. Good to see you again, mate. Welcome. 
Hi everyone, good evening to you all. Oh, good evening to you too, man out of time. Nice to see you. I think this is a no-win save state May maze. Yeah. I could have, I could have gone back to the other one and redone the spring thing, but I, I, I'm just call, I'm calling it on Pink Panther. We're moving on to more games. Yeah. GP, it's hardly mayhem in Monster Land. Five out of ten. <laughs> uh, it's Matt gives it a six. J Johnny a seven. Retro Name a seven. Lovely graphics. Imagine like a five. Robin Hook a six. Man out of time. Seven out of ten. Maybe you see. Please. Yeah. Yeah. And you, and you need someone competent to look up. Hang on. Couch shovel. I thought you were asleep, dude. This man shovel. Henry Mancini, who also wrote Peter Gunn and Baby Elephant War. Yes! Henry Mancini's a freaking dude. He's awesome. Right, the Peter Gunn theme. Dun 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 dun. And the baby elephant walk as well. That's right, man shovel. Thanks for the uh, f music facts there. Couch shovel. Oi oi. Pumpkins in the chat for man shovel. With the music facts. Thank you, man shovel. You get some rest, dude. You get some rest. Uh, where was I? My CT gives it a 7. Johnny Boy, 6 out of 10. For the game, 10 out of 10 for the cartoon. 11 out of 10 for the hard part. Uh, Andrew gives it a seven. Uh, Robin Hood gives it a six. Magic Knight a five. Retro Limb seven out of ten. Uh, yeah, I think I've caught up there, everyone. I'm staying to your staying to your guns. Sticking to your guns, are you, Anna? Five out of ten from Noble the Savage. Great visuals. It's rather dull. Would have been better if it's a thief instead of a butler. Um, five, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is the soft lock real? There's actually a way to go at Supreme. I think it's real, Henri, unless I've missed like, a combination of keys press, but space, enter, shift, control, fire button, escape, control, shift, escape, didn't work. It's soft locked. Um, but yeah, yeah. It's well presented, but it's a very, very frustrating game. Definitely not one for the kids. And the show was aimed at kids, yeah. It's too hard, possibly. Five out of ten looks a bit boring. It's basically Sleepwalker. If you like Sleepwalker on the Amiga, this is a nerdy Sleepwalker. They've ripped it off. Five out of ten should be a fun platformer. I think there's more to it, but um, I never got to it. All right, next game, guys. Put your requests in the chat. Most interesting one gets picked. Okay, I put a line in the chat there. I'm just going to grab a quick drink from the fridge. And I'll be back in like 20 seconds. All right? All right, be right back in 20 seconds. Okay? All right, what are we saying, boys and girls? What's the story? Okay. Flintstones, oh God. Trapdoor. We did do Trapdoor on part one last year. Um, 
and Brave Star. And a Gauntlet. Ooh, yeah. Uh, Defense of the Earth. Interesting. Or oh, Andy Cap. Uh, did Andy Cap get a game? It did. Bloody hell. Hmm. Bow the Planets. Street Hawk. Super Grand. I did do a long play of Super Grand. Uh, I actually, did, that did get featured on part one as well. Uh, Sacred Arm of Antirirad. Red, um, that wasn't a TV show. I'm looking at TV shows that got made into games tonight. Uh, Hong Kong Fury. Ooh. Uh, Rambo was a movie. I'm looking for TV shows, Stephanie. Um, or cartoons that turned into TV. Yeah, cartoons. Yeah, they're, they're TV shows. Yeah. Trapdoor 2. Ha <laughs> ha the strapped hard too, and he could bloody mind a spitting image. Ooh, spitting image. I haven't had that on um, Yamstream. Cauldron 2, just because you don't remember the TV show doesn't mean it isn't real. It was never a TV show. Stop it. Battle of the, I, I'm torn between Battle of the Planets and Spitting Image. Some people mentioned Spitting Image before. No book of Jeffree Star Cornwall Glam Club. What? Um, I do love um, A Second Arm of Anterior. Great game though, Fred. Great game. None of your beers. Welcome, none of your beers. Uh, TV shows. TV shows tonight, none of your beers. I know you requested that two weeks ago. <laughs> Welcome, none of your beers, but it's TV shows tonight. And I did tell you to remind me about that, but TV shows tonight. Eerie Indiana. Mysterious City. I wish Mysterious Cities of Gold was a, uh, made, they made a game. Sadly not. Centurions. Uh... Did they make a game of that? Quickly, Centurions. They did. Wow. There was a Rambo cartoon. There wasn't a game based on that, though. We've got Rambo First Blood Part 2. Yeah. Hey, Ricky Zambrosi. Welcome. And Ghetto Crew, two requests for Street Hawk. That was quite in. Mm. Right, okay. Let's, go, let's, let's just go and pick one then. Let's just go and. Bat what's Battle of the Planets like? Battle of the Planets. Did we, have, did we have that in part one? I don't think we did. All right. Okay, two people requested this. Um, Street Hawk. Street Hawk. I think out of the, all the early licenses from Ocean, like there was Knight Rider, Miami Vice, etc. This one was the only fairly decent one, if I remember correctly. Street Hawk. Street Hawk. Not many people remember the TV show. Let me show you the box art. There's the box art. Does anybody remember the TV show? <laughs> Basically, it's a Knight Rider ripoff. Instead of the car, it's the bike. It's a bike. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's Knight Rider with a bike. The TV show wasn't very well known. Um, but yeah. Hang on. Oh, is that the music finished already? Blimey. Okay. Right. Okay. The music was great. It is a Jean Michael Jarre song, uh, which is not replicated here in the title screen at all. Uh, the music was awesome. I can't play it on stream because I'll get copyright claimed. 
Awesome, awesome music. I can't badly play it, but never mind. Cool box art there, yeah. And a must play game for the stream, Super Try. There wasn't a TV show called Super Trolley, though, was there? Was there? There was only one season of Street Hawk. Different strokes the game. Oh my god. Hello, Batman. Welcome. I have no idea what to, how you play V the game. Um, Noble, did you know how to play V the game? God. I love this show. Also, Automan, not a game, I don't think. I, I've never heard of Automan the game. I don't think I remember watching Automan either. There's in the box based on the TV show. Really? Right, here we go. Jesse, three villains are pushing back. Uh, the girl cat, where well, they have a girl captive. You have to stop them. Laser overheated. Oh, God. A wine store is being robbed by free punks. Okay, so you're on your bike here. You can't go too fast or your temperature overheats. remember correctly oh what oh i forgot what you have to do now cars in black uh are oh, the ones you can shoot i think i've missed the robbery oh man police are closing jesse oh there's oh no oh jesus Oh, I've screwed up. You've been caught by the police. Game over. Right, you have to get to the location before the timer runs out at the bottom there, I think. God, I forget what you have to do now. He's basically at cycling speeds there. Game over. Oh. This is more like Pizza Hut delivery. <laughs> Blue Thunder better than Airwolf. Ooh, controversial. Uh, Manimal was pants. What the hell was Manimal? Never heard of that. Uh, as a game, Street Hawk is better than the Night Rider game, definitely. Christ, what um, what the hell do you do in this? I've, I've already forgotten. I've done a bloody really long play of this game as well. Spaces jump. Oh, T for turbo. Right, okay. T for turbo. Uh... Right, keep the speed near 60 miles per hour. T for turbo if the speed of the police come near you. Right. Okay. Sixty miles per hour. Okay, you want to be at okay. There we go. Hit your speed about sixty. Right, look how speedy we are, boys and girls. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, cool. I, f I forgot. We've got an AMS. Oh, no, I can't be asked. I've got an AMS bike, but I can't be asked changing to that. Um, what the hell is Manimal? I don't remember Manimal. You're all talking about Manimal. Manimal was fantastic. Ashens loves Manimal. I love Manimal too. What the hell is Manimal? Manimal. Manimal. Oh, 
What the hell is this? I've never even heard of this before. You haven't if you haven't seen Manimal. What the fuck is this? I can't watch the intro. I'll get copyright claimed up there by the by within the hour. No, that, that's a bad Photoshop, surely. Jesus, I, I've got to watch some of this. Because I've watched it, you, uh, you get claimed. You get claimed on the video as well, dude. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be. Wow. This looks insane. Bloody hell. I watch a tiny, tiny bit. <laughs> Transforms into an animal. Bloody hell. I'm having to fast forward bits so I don't get claimed. Wow. Wow. Okay. He transforms into a fairy or an Ewok. Okay. Okay. Manimal looks awesome. I'm going to have to watch a bit of Manimal. Okay. Hey, Alex. Welcome. How you doing, Alex? Mr. Rugal. How's tricks, mate? I'm not playing Super Trolley. I've seen it in my Discord. It says, as seen on BBC TV's Jim will fix it. As seen on. As seen on. Not a TV show. Right. Okay. Manimal. Oops. Right. Ow. Okay. Mind store ahead, slow down. Ah, oh, right, okay, we're in at the wine store. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna shoot the bad guys. We've got a, it's like an Operation Wolf style. <laughs> oh god! Laser overheated. Oh bloody hell! Oh, game over there. All right, we'll give this one more try. Do you get a signed on shoot 'em up to pit, shoot the bad guys there? So. Oops, uh, I shot a civilian there. Okay, oh god. Alright, we got a report in that a wine store's been robbed by punks. Oops. Oh, I, was, I was trying to read chat there. So, for things are a bit. Hang on. Ooh. Uh, so, for things are a bit rainy here. I uh, find uh, starts a week's holiday, uh, but I'm watching my favourite Friday night stream. Oh, thank you, Alex. I hope you've been keeping well, my friend. Police are on your trail. Oh, no. 
Oh, near the wine store. Okay, gonna slow down. Oh no! I've been caught by the police just as I was about to stop at the wine store to stop the villain. Stupid police. Should be helping me. I'm not sure about this game, says just Jay. So I was two bloody steps away from the robbery. Alright, we'll give this one more go. Stupid game. Right, if you go any higher than 60 miles an hour, your bike starts to overheat. But the slowest, slowest super bike ever. <laughs> Anna coming in with your arse candles. Do you know what? I think it's the word arse that makes your, um, sometimes your uh, arse candle rating stop showing in my chat window. Thanks for using the peach there. <laughs> I'm seeing your arse candle um, reviews all the time now. Wow, but the, yeah, this is exciting stuff. Uh, but it actually works quite fairly well as a game. At least it's playable and not as dull as, like, say, like Miami uh, as a Night Rider. It's more playable than Miami Vice. What are the other? Uh, oh God. Um. Highlander was just utter, utter rubbish. Right, here we go. Ah, oh, missed him. Did we win? I think we won. I think we stopped the robbery. We missed one bad guy. The police are closing in. Uh-oh. Turbo! Now we're going! I've got another wine store. Oh, God. So we can go quite fast if we want to. It does go fast if we want to. And we've got another wine store robbery. There's an awful lot of wine stores. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, I've been overtaken. Wine store up ahead. Oh no, we've missed it! Oh, for God's sakes, so got, I got rammed into from behind. Okay. Right, eventually, once you've done about three um, of these like little missions, then you take on um, a bad guy on the road with like a cat, uh, with a. Um, kidnapped girl in the back or something and you have to shoot them off the road i think like a chase hq style battle of a wine store right police closing in okay turbo All right. Wine store ahead. Yay! A kidnapper is ahead of you. Get him. All right, run to the kidnapper. What? What happened there? Why? Oh! Did anyone see what happened? What? Why was that game over? GG, you completed it. What was the message there at the bottom of the screen? We're about to fight the kidnapper. Essentially, once you've done that, the game loops one more time. It's hard. It's harder, um, and then that's basically you get the game completed. What happened there? Did anyone see the message? 
It said nub nub. No, it did not. No, it did not. Well, that was rubbish. Um, it shouldn't have done that. Did it glitch? Oh, well, scores out of 10 for Street Hawk. Oh, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Fairly playable. Um, bloody hell. Um, what was Anna's ass candles? Let's read it out. There we go. Ass candle, the lower order, like a pooing a glass encrusted candle whilst using a jellyfish stinger to wash your ass after. But hey, hey, at least it tried to be special. Three out of tens, I <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll take it down to five and a half, I think, for me, actually. Um, Anna always manages to sum it all up. A DG fee, indeed. The Clanny gives it five out of ten. Retro Lim a six. Batman a five. Um, there was a Robin Hood Michael Pred Amsterdam CPC version game. Text Adventure, Man at a Time. Mrs. Ifo would be interested in that. She's a huge uh, Robin of Sherwood um, fan. Um, Big, big super fan of that show. Um, Just Jace gives it a 5. Andrea, 4 out of 10. 80s Russian Gamer, a 6. Johnny, a 4.5. Um, Alex says this Street Hawk game is a set of columns of paraffin wax of a wick inserted directly. Trey gives it a 2. Barry, a 6.5. Main Haze, a 4 out of 10. Um, Matt Myers. Hello, Matt Myers. Welcome. We need Yellow Belly to co that out. Hi, Julia. <laughs> Noble gives it a 4. I hope G-Force is better. CDJ, 1 out of 10. Stinging pile of pony. 2 out of 10 has not allowed. Minus. Land boring does nothing. 3 out of 10. Yeah, I think I'll take mine down to a 5 out of 10, actually. You're right. Seen these reviews. It is bland and boring. There's not much to it. Stephanie gives it 2 out of 10. I'm only giving it a higher score because it's better than Knight Rider, Highlander, Miami Vice, and all the other ocean, early ocean film and TV licenses. Um, only 5 out of 10. Only because of smooth scrolling on the streets. Matt Myers gives it a 5. Maginite a 4. And Rob Robin gives it a 5. There we go. Yeah. All right, let's move on. A few people wanted Battle of the Planets. Battle of the Planets. No idea if this is any good. No idea if this is any good or not. But let's have a look. Henri liked it, liked it though. Eight out of ten. I think it's got some. I think it's got maybe um, a bit of gameplay to it. Oh, this. I don't remember this show or cartoon very much. So I may not have any idea what to do in this game. But we shall do our best, chat. We shall do our best. It was an absolute belter of a cartoon. Did it have a good theme song? Oh, yeah. We were going to do a poll, weren't we, of the best cartoon themes? Earlier. Zoltar is up to his old tricks. You must defend the system against Zoltar and his fleet. The Phoenix is ready. All systems are go. Good luck, G-Force. Okay, it's quite a nice little intro. S seven, Zark Seven, over and out. Oh. I love my video game plays. Is this the original theme music? What do we agree on the best theme music? We've got Thundercats, Mask, Ulysses, wasn't it? People said. Oh, I can hear four options. Oh, God. A few people said pole position, didn't they? 
Pole position. I don't remember it, but a few people said pole position. I've got Thundercats, Mask, Ulysses 31, and pole position. Jay's 2. I can only have four options in the pole. That's the problem when it comes to like doing like the sugars voting. Pole only gives me four options. Jamie and the Magic Torch. Button move. Uh, oh, man. I can only have four options. Man. I'm upset because I can't get um, bloody um, Mysterious Cities of Gold in this one. Penny Crayon? Yells Penny Crayon. Right. All right, we'll have to do this then. You've only got these four in the poll. There's a poll in the chat. Best cartoon music theme. I can only get those four in chat. All right, go on. You know, there you go. There's a poll in the chat. Best cartoon music theme. If you don't, if you don't vote for Mask, I'm disowning you all. <laughs> it is gold was class. It was. It was. Right, what the hell do I do here? Uh, uh, fire rockets is... Uh, oh, God. I better redefine my joystick keys because something has something mapped to Z already. Right, okay, left control for joystick. Okay. Okay. Uh, fire is space, rockets is Z, speed 0 to 9, 9 and 0. Okay, mode 1 to 5. Oh my god, is this like an elite ripoff? Shield status, power unit, planet data, rocket system, laser system. One step through ink one, two step through ink two. Steps of the bolt. Uh, press fire to start. Oh god. What is this? Is this an elite ripoff? Whoa, okay. How do we how do we lock on and fire a rocket? Oh, okay, that's how. Uh, laser system. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, he got away and wasted a rocket. We got. We do have rockets. We got lasers as well. Hmm. Okay. Let's put some music on in the background. Okay. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. Come here, you. Oh, I got him in my rockets there. Nice. What's this? Is that something to pick up? Wherever it is, I missed it. Ah, oh, biscuits. Okay. It's all right. 
right so far. It's a bit of an elite rip off. Oh god. Oh, 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 oh. Down, 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 down. Oh, I missed it again. Oh, I missed it again. Oh, tits. What's the, what's the voting like so far? Let's have a look. Thundercats in the lead, 41%. Ulysses, 33%. Pole position, 15%. Mask on 10%. God damn it. Mask is last. Heavens. Uh, fun this, but a bit never ending. Henri, you like a bit of Cities of Gold? Me too. Highly underrated sh uh, TV show. Right, let me get this thing. Check, check, check. Oh, we got it. We got it. Um, let's go to Elias. Oh, we've just done a walk. We've walked. Okay. Shield status. <gasps> Ship destroyed. Oh, we just got wrecked. This is not giving me vibes of the cartoon at all. Uh, okay. Uh, UC songs better in the French uh, original version. Oh, there's two versions of the song. Oh, I'm not aware. Uh, one for all and all for one. Musker hounds are ready for <laughs> one, one for all and all for one. Musker is that how the song goes? That was Yellow Belly's favourite. You remember his streams. Um, instruments of destruction. Oh, sorry. From Transformers, the movie soundtrack still rocks. Transformers songs from the movie. Now we're talking, Paul Hager. Now we're talking. Uh, if your mansion house needs haunting, just called Rent a Ghost. Rent a Ghost. Oh, God. Now there's some memories coming back. I've forgotten all about that. Um, Rocky, this is deep for a cartoon license. There is a lot of controls and stuff to remember here. Well... What do we think to Battle the Planets? It's kind of a bit of an elite ripoff, but without all the space trading stuff and it's exploration. It's just, it's just the shooting, shooty bits of elite. Will that get a bit boring after a while? I don't know. I think it might. Um. Hmm. What do we think to this? I can't skip through. Oh, you can. Oh, no. I wanted the music there. Sorry. I was trying to pause my music and I hit a button. Damn. Okay. All right. One more go here then. There must be a way to recharge your shields. Uh, but I don't know how you do it. You can uh, vary your speed. Got him. It's always fun, like, flying around and shooting stuff in space. I always like these target cross airy type games anyway. What's this thing? Planet? Oh, you could change your speed. Okay, shield status, laser system. Let's change that. Nice. Hmm. Call that ten then for this one, then, boys and girls. Battle of the planet. Come here, you. Ha! Got him with a rocket. Nice. Wicked. Open 
next one. I quite, I'm starting to quite like this. I don't know. I'll give you like a, maybe a six and a half out of ten. Need to put, invert the X and Y controls though. Not him. It's literally down for down rather than down to like pull up. You know what I mean? Uh, that's like putting me off a bit. My kids. There's another one. Oh no, that's. Is that a ship? Is that a ship? No, it wasn't. Oh, there's your one. I could spend a few hours on this one on a lazy Sunday afternoon. Got him! I'm starting to like this a little bit more, actually. I don't know. Some, yeah. We're kids. Oh, shield status. Oh God, okay. I think I'm about to die, but okay. I like how it gives you warnings there. It starts flashing at you. There's no audio of when you've been here. Uh, seven out of 10 from Maud, I see there. Hey, where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Oh, God. Oh, here you are. Oh, you naughty boy. Come here, you. Ooh. Ah! Get destroyed. Ah. Uh, you get a code number. Right. Right, let me show you what the chat there then is. Right, just Jace gives it a 6 out of 10. Better than Street Hawk. Right, I'll end, I'll end the poll there as well. Well, I was fairly split there on the poll. This stuff is music from Mask of the Season, Pulp and all from Shuki Levy. Shuki Levy did all the tunes, didn't he? Uh, OC says if it was budget, 7 out of 10. If full price, 5 out of 10. I've, I have a sad suspicion that this was full price. Battle of the Planets. Microgen. I think this was a full price release originally. Yeah. Full price release, I think. Damn. Did it ever get a budgie release? I don't think it did. There you go. Maybe not the best box art in the world, perhaps. But. Oh well, oh well. There you go. Um, where was I then? Uh, 6 out of 10 from Barry Roadwell. Hello, Malamut again. Uh, Imagine I gives it a 6 out of 10. Um, Inspector Gadget theme song. That was a good one, Matt, as well. Yeah. Noble the Savage has 6. Well presented game, but would have been better as a shoot em up with a Phoenix transformation power up. That would have been cool. Yeah, like an old school um, gallery shooter. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Johnny gives it a 5.5. GP is six, nothing like the show. Yeah, it's not like the show at all. Barry says seven out of ten. Shaming doesn't remind me of the cartoon. That's about the third or fourth comment like that. I agree. Batman six out of ten. Robin is five. Matt Myers is seven. 
Not doing it for me, unfortunately, says Andrea. No, it's hardly that exciting, is it? Um, uh, where am I? Sorry. Anna, 5 out of 10, Shadow of the Arse Candle. Not getting the full Arse Candle from Anna, but it's close to. <coughs> oh, okay. What game was this again? Battle of the Planet. See, you can't, you can't even tie it to like a cartoon series at all. It could be any. It could be anything. This could be. Um, Alex gives it six out of ten. Uneasy cross between Star Wars and Elite. Yeah, yeah. Um. Well, excuse me. Sorry. Well, gives it a seven out of ten. Just chase a six. It's not bad. Definitely better than Street Hawk. Um, Stephanie. Good night, Stephanie. <clears throat> it says good night. I all need to get some sleep. No worries. Uh. Enjoy, enjoy, um, Poco. Is it Poco? Uh, your um, Russian blue, uh, and have a lovely weekend. Take care, Stephanie. And the poll finished as a tie. It was a tie between Thundercats and Ulysses 31, the best cartoon music. And t Mask came last with only 10%. Oh well, oh well. Poll position got 15%. There we go. There we go. I know. Mask in last place. Uh, uh. And Trey gave it 2 out of 10. Retro Lima 4. Uh, Andy H7. 60, uh, Retro Gamer. 80s Retro Gamer 6. Yeah, that was disappointing, OSG. I'm sorry. I'm not doing bloody Super Trolley. I did you Battle of the Planets. Like, you should be happy. <laughs> Alright, boys and girls. What's the next game, then? What's the next game? What should we do next? Uh, request and suggestions in the chat. Most interesting one gets picked. Hotsworth and Co. That, that's actually a good game. It wasn't a TV show, Matt Myers. He's been a naughty boy. It's because um, it's got it's got links to a notorious presenter from uh, Pedophile. That's why. Uh, Kickstart 2. That's not based on a TV show, though, was it? Was it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Monsters, Run the Gauntlet, Defenders of the Earth. Oh, Defenders of the Earth. Uh, oh, Paco! Paco Vespa! Hola! Welcome, Paco! Welcome in. Blintstones, a Johnny Boy. Ahoy again, Johnny Boy! Monge 2. The really, there's actually there's a, I think there's like two Flintstones games on the Amstrad, isn't there? I think there's like a really, there's a really boring one, and there's a less boring one. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. I don't think there is a Dragon Ball Z, is there? Iceman Pat. Heathcliff? Is there a Heathcliff game? Nah, there isn't. Tom and Jerry. Ooh. Kickstart was an 80s TV show, but I don't think the Kickstart games was based, was official license, was it? But they changed the name to Kick, taking out the C, didn't they? I don't know. Captain Planet. Trop Door 2, Top Cat, Ice and Bat, Trop Door 2, Simpsons, Garfield, Krypton Factor. Yeah, there's a Paint the Wall Sim uh, Flintstones game, and there's one where there isn't. God. There's like a really early Flintstones game um, called, I think, Yabba Dabba Do Flintstones. And then there's a later Flintstones game where there's, yeah, like, there's like, ah, uh, you're painting the wall. But there's an earlier one. What we've never played before called Yabba Dabba Do Flintstone. 
Yeah. There's this one. I don't think I've ever played this one on the Amstream before. We have done this one. And I think this is the one where you end up having to paint the walls of your house for like an hour. There's two different Flintstones games. Who requested Flintstones? Was it Johnny Boy? Hello, OJBs. Welcome. Welcome. Kickstart was a TV show. Oh, hang on. Kickstart. See, there's not um, there's not a game on the Amtrak called Kickstart. I'll zoom. I'll zoom this in. You can see I type in Kickstart. Um, what the hell? Deepsy power. That's suggesting eight eight bit knockers at the top right there. Jesus Christ. The kickstart you're talking about is about with a, just without a seat. Kickstart, isn't it? Kickstart. Uh, th that's not based on the uh, TV show. Because the TV show is called uh, Kickstart TV show, isn't it? Kickspace Start. Yeah, Kickspace Start. Nothing to do. Nothing to do with the game. Yeah. So, kick space start spelt correctly. TV show. The game. Kick. Start. So not not related to the uh, TV show, unfortunately. But I love a look at this then. Yabba Dabba Do Flintstones never played on the Amstream before. I don't think. Let me just get the. Oh God, is it this? Have we got a disc of this? Yabba Dabba Do. I'll have a look. Okay. Good re Oh god, have I not got this? Right, let me download this. So I all blame Johnny Boy if this is rubbish. It's Yabba Dabba Boring. Yabba Dabba Don't. God. Okay. Alright, we won't spend too long on this then if this is crap. I'm sure I remember the Kickstarter theme in all its glory on a computer. Um God, V, Julian. V on the Amstrad. We've tried it before on a stream. We have no idea what to do in that game. Julian, if you know how to play it and have got a map and like know what to do. By all means, tell me what we need to do in the game, because we had no idea. Oh! Jolly rendition of the theme. You do not. Okay, we'll leave it then, Julian. Great TV show, terrible game. Oh, Nivrig! Good night, Nivrig! Have a great weekend, my friend! Okay, not a bad start with the music. But ominous signs with the sprites there. The, sp they're showing the sprites in the title screen there and they're not filled in. The wireframe sprites almost. Specky port. Made one, two colours is bodes well. Yeah. More, do you know what to do on this one? Clear the pebbles into the pit so you can build your house with larger rocks. Don't blame me, this is not the one I was thinking of. Oh, Johnny boy, you asked for it, you got it. All right. And the one you're asking for is terrible. You paint walls for an hour. lives oh you can have um, limited lives oh I'll get up to about eight lives eight lives 
instructions. God, it's in the base. It's in the default font. Use joyce What? Oh, hang on. I want to see the. Inst Can I read the instructions? Stupid ass game. Right, use joystick or cursor key, shift by Fred must build his house and find Wilma. Clear the site of little rocks by flinging them down the tip, and then use big rocks to build the house. Fred I, I didn't press anything there. Wow. Let me just pause it and read that. Right. Right, clear the site of little rocks by flinging them down the tip and then use big rocks to build the house. Fred can climb on a dinosaur to build the roof and chimney, but you'll need money to rent one. Wilma is somewhere in Bedrock City. If Fred meets her often enough, she may follow him to his smart new, new house. <coughs> Gain extra points for building the first house in... That, is, that, is that a deliberate typo? Bedrock City. Design and program in England for quick by task, task set of Bridlington. Spider returns to the options page. Find little rocks by flinging them down the tip and then use big rocks to build the house. Find a dinosaur to build the roof and chimney. But you'll need money to rent one. Okay. Hang on, why is my fire button not working? Fire button is not working. Okay. Okay. How do you pick up rocks? Wow. Okay. Right, was so we pick all right, okay. I see how we okay I... okay so okay clearing the little rocks away wow okay this is not great Got a little turtle that's bothering us at the moment. So, home is here. This is where we're supposed to be building our home. Ah, okay. Right, okay. Right, gotta clear the little rocks away. Right. Let me just pause this here. Right, okay. Night Rider was at least in the amateur. Yes, it was, OJ. Yes. Anna's farting into a metal bucket. Oh, diagonal at edge of screen when at top of bottom when moving between screens to move plane. Okay. Plane I face fart bubbles in a jacuzzi. <laughs> okay, GP. 
The games are a bit prehistoric. Um, right. Can anyone see him in his eye? Yeah, he's just woken up. The baby monitor's, I think, picking him up at the moment. Sorry about that. Wow, I was wrong. This is even worse than GP's game. Why is some of these... Some of the little rocks I'm not able to pick up, but some I can. I don't understand quite what's going on here. Ams Kid, welcome in. Welcome in, Ams Kid. How you doing, my friend? And Kev Howe, welcome. Well, you've just walked into quite a bad Flintstones game. But I picked one up there. What? Is this where I'm... Right, I picked up a rock. That's a big rock. We want that rock. Oh, God. Okay. Little rock. Throw it in there. Okay. No, 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 no. I don't want to drop it. Picked it up. Okay. Pick up the little rock. Throw it in there. Oh, oh hold on fire. And he, Fred can run faster. Ah! Sod off. Okay. So, we've got to clear off these little rocks. Why that turtle's, like, throw in there. Okay. Let's just go to the chat then. Sorry, guys. Okay. The specky port. More than likely, OJ. More than likely. Uh, like cartoons, minimal effort. Like the cartoons, minimal effort. Um, they the pebbles by your house. Sight to the left, I think. It looks like it. Yes. Matt Myers said this looks bad. Oh, Henri. Good night, Henri. Bon Nui. Take care, Henry. Have a great weekend, mate. <laughs> Take care. Nice having you here as always. Um, this was a licensed game. Yes, yes. Uh, good night, Henry. Take care, my friend. Uh, this game is a metaphor for of the world sees specky fun points. <laughs> uh, so, Zyphos, first task. I've got to clear the pebbles from the sc screen to the left of the tip. Yeah, yeah. Long play of Airwolf, please. No, we had Airwolf on... Did we have Airwolf on last week or the week before? I can't remember. We had Airwolf on fairly recently. This crap was on the Master System. What, the same game as this? Wow. Wow. Such excitement. And you imagine that the um, same company then brought out another Flintstones game two years later. And that involved painting walls. Right, okay. Oh, for God's sakes. Right, we've now got to get big rocks. Where do we get big rocks from? Oh, there's a big rock. Uh, there's a big rock there. Oh, sod off. Right, I've got a big rock here. All ah, right. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, how am I supposed to avoid that? It spawned right... Right, how 
Claro. Where's our house? Where's our house gone? Oh, I'm done with this one. Boring! Scores out of 10 for the first Flintstones game. Yabba dabba, yabba dabba do, yabba dabba poo. Um, three out of ten for me. Oh, God. Some schools already in there. Um, thing is, says Kate Val, I earned the follow up and I was impressed with it for an Amstrad game. The one where you're painting walls for an hour, Kate Val. Bloody hell. Okay. <laughs> to be fair, I think the later levels are alright in that. There's a bowling game in that that apparently is quite fun. But you have to sit through a, a level where you're painting walls for blooming ages on that um, later on Flintstones game. But fair enough, fair enough. Um, so scores already for this one. Two and a half out of ten from Jolly. Uh, two out of ten from Retro Lim. Matt Myers, two out of ten. OSG, zero out of ten. GP, zero out of ten as well. Just Jason, one out of ten. Velo says, zero out of ten. Not enough dinosaurs. Robin, a 2 out of 10. Prefer the other Flintstones game. Johnny Boy, 2 out of 10. Turn this off. It's your fault, Johnny Boy. Your fault. OJB says, screw this out of 10. Um, uh, where are we? Anna. There we go. This is to utter and total arse candle for highest command. Pine cone candles rubbing on inflamed bum grapes and sandpaper, toilet paper, and razors on the toilet seat. Zero out of ten, Zypho. Um, good grief, Anna. And your score? Uh, Maud says, The soldier may be haunting me, but seven out of ten. Fair enough, Maud. Fair enough. Um, just chase one out of ten. One for the tune. It's Matt gives it three. Terrible coffin. Zero out of ten. Oh, you gave it 0 out of 10, Anna. Sorry, you did actually give it a score there. Sorry, I missed the last bit of your message there. Sorry. Terrible Coffin, 0. No Brother Savage, 2 out just for the music. 2.5 from Jolly. Batman, on the screen where it says home, start throwing rocks here to start building the house. I did get one rock down, but I just couldn't find my house again, Batman. And I kept getting killed by rocks spawning on the side of the screen where I'm, where I'm bloody... Oh, anyway... Uh, ba uh, Barry gives it a 3, Kev Howell a 1, Magic Knight a 1, Batman a 4, CDJ a 2, Get a Crew a 1, Fred Carlstone. Retro 80s Retro Cube gives it a 10, OJB's a 1, Retro Cube a 7, Amski a 7, bloody hell. Wow. Wow. Right, enough of that. Enough, enough. Next game, boys and girls. Let's get let next game. What's our what's our what, what's all right? Request in the chat. Most interesting select um suggestion gets picked. Right. There you go. I'll put the thumbnail up there. Maybe something will jog something someone's memory. Let me just stretch my legs a second. Okay. Wacky races. Not a bad idea. Oh. Range Hill? Hmm. Teenage Mutant Ninja Ferret. Catchphrase. Hot Swift and Co. Choose a good game. We'll try and find a good game. 
All right, just stretching my legs. Ugh. Um, countdown and catch race. Maybe we might do like a quiz show at the end of the stream for a bit of a quiz race. Milk race. Was that a TV show? Uh, the perils of pooing in public. What the hell? <laughs> Captain Planet for Planeteers. Ooh, not a bad idea. Danger Mouse. There was a Danger Mouse game? I, I put it on the thumbnail, didn't I? Oh my god. Yeah, there was two of those Danger Mouse games. and that, I'm not sure they were very good. Um, we'll Remind me on that one. There was Danger Mouse games. I don't think they were very good. We're, we're going to try and find a good one. Top Cat. Top Cat. Top Cat. Mm -hmm. Quick Draw McGraw. Ooh. Yeah, there are two Danger Mouse games. Yes. And they're Terry Bad. Count Duckula. Oh, God. I'm trying to find a good one. Atamand. Oh, actually, that's not a bad one. Scrappy Dude was actually a generally good platformer. Yeah, yeah. Monty Python. Jetsons, very, ooh, ooh, Monty Python. Monty Python is a good idea. You want some? All right, then. You want some Monty Python? Oh, Benny Hill didn't make it to the Amstrad. It's a funny spe Spectrum game, though. It is a funny Spectrum game. Fenders of the Earth. Oh, remind me on that one. That one's not too bad, actually. Let me just download the Monty Python disc. A few people wanted Monty Python. Get rid of that. All right. Monty Python then. Oh, yeah. We wanted Spitting Image as well, didn't we? Go on then. A little bit of Monty Python. Cheese block protection. Uh, protection. Identify this cheese. Oh, God. God, hang on. Uh, oh, God. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Cheese. Um, I think. Bloody hell. It's pr copy protection. I think it's like Danbo or something. Huh? Right, okay. I chose the wrong one. I chose the wrong cheese. Right, okay, so it says wedgie one pointing to the right. Okay, wedgie one pointing to the right. Okay. L. 
fart's sakes. I've got the manual open and I'm looking for this cheese. Okay, bear with me a sec. Um, right, this one is Appen Appenzella. Appenzella. Correct cheese identification. Your superlative knowledge of fermented curd and cheesy uh, comestibles will certainly aid you in your quest for brains. Press fire to continue. Hurrah! Walk blocked. <laughs> ah! Yay! Cheese mini game there. Oh, welcome back, Clanny. I didn't know. Oh, sorry, I think I missed you nipping off there. Welcome back, Clanny. She's an easy lover. Prehistoric capture protection. Are you an Ewok? My protection is pining. <laughs> The lowest score. Oh, you start from the maximum score, work your way downwards. I remember the scoring system, yeah. Oh, Fly Spy was awesome. We had the coder of Fly Spy, Richard Applin, on a, an AM stream. We were doing a live interview uh, a few years ago, AM's kid, and talking about his other games like Shinobi, um, um, Final Fight, Double Dragon 1 and 2. Look, uh, have a look for that on my uh, previous videos, Am's Kid. Look for Richard Applin, live interview. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at this then. Right. There we go. Nice and colourful. Shame the music doesn't carry on into the game. So you can jumpy jump. Got a bush that's following us. I think you, got, I think you can throw... Oh, and let me just change my controls here because it's messing with my left control. Okay. There we go. Okay. Is that a hardware scroll? That's going to drop on my head, isn't it? There we go. A push scroll there. What? Shame it's got no music in game. Nice and colourful, uh, responsive controls, but, um, oh, we're now in this. That's it, shrimp, we're now half man, half fish. Oh, I lost some energy there, okay. Got an energy bar, I think, bottom left corner. Oh, that gave us some energy back. Okay, cool. Now I'm sort of like, almost like a sc uh, scrolling shoot -em up level. Let's go. If I remember correctly, there are hidden areas. go up here. Oh, I, I missed a secret there. I think. Uh-oh. Alright, not too bad. Yeah, it moves around smoothly enough. Just need to get. Yeah. 
nice and colourful. It just needs some like that Monty Python music in game. Let me just catch up the chat there. What's we, what are we saying then, chat? Um, oh, you think you saw that stream? Did you, Ams Kid? Awesome. Um, now for something completely different. Yes. Um, look at this colour pet, colour colour palette thing compared to the Flintstones. I know that was a cheap specky port, just Jace. I think that previous game. This was coded by David Pridmore, apparently designer of Rick Dangerous. Ah, yeah, I think we can see that. I think we can see the Rick Dangerousness is here. This game's kind of all right, I suppose, but never liked the program. Fair enough, Clanny. But the Knights would say, Nee! This looks half decent, uh, to be fair. Reminds me of the Amiga version of it. Either monochrome specky version. Aww. Aww. It does look a bit like the Amiga version. Decent colours. That are flying pink feet. Yes! Yes. Hello, Miss Watkins. You thought that was Rockfort? I like a bit of Rockfort. I like a bit of Rockfort, Julian. Uh, I reckon you must have an AC in the room uh, or plenty of nice drinks. I do have a fan going on behind me. Sorry if the mic's picking that up as well. Uh, Brian! Mr. O'Higgins, how you doing? Welcome. Happy Friday to you too. You're not the Messiah, you're a very naughty boy. <laughs> have you been down the pub, Brian? How's your night been, mate, so far? Welcome. Um, do you know what? I like this game, but I was never a huge big fan of this game fan of this game to be honest i could never get that excited by this i need to do a long play for my channel at some point got a, this game got a bit frustrated at points i found Right, sometimes you can get hidden items and health. What the? Ah, you hit a switch there and that item appeared. Bloody hell. Lost my first life there. I like that little um, losing a life animation there. That's kind of neat. Oh, that was a switch I hit. That's very Rick Dangerous. No. Bloody hell. I think that's Shrimp coming up. Alright, hit detection is pretty good. Okay, not bad. is this oh it's a boss battle ah <clears throat> who is that character supposed to be ah so we could hide in that tube
Ah, not for long though. Road signs? Okay, um, what are we thinking then so far to this game? Um, I'm thinking it's not a bad shoot em up, clap, um, stroke platformer. Seven and a half out of ten to an eight and a half. Kind of like more of a shoot 'em up for most of the part. Um, I thought this was going to be a platformer for a large chunk. At the moment, mostly shoot 'em up. Uh, once pipe and shoot, you dig it. Oh, what's this? It's another boss battle. Who's this geezer? Right, how do you get that item from here? How'd you get through? How'd you get that thing? Doesn't drop down. All right. Never mind. Hmm. All right. I'm on my last life. Ah, it's game over. Right, never mind. Okay, all right, never mind. Um, it's Mr. Helly on drugs, <laughs> says Rachel and Lim. They're dead parrots. Where's the music? What's happened to the music? Why is the new music not playing? Uh, you had an interesting nap, man, Shovel. Welcome back, mate. Was um, was Zyphos playing Flintstones Yabba Dabba Do? Oh, it's, oh, the music's back. You may have had a drink or two, Brian. Nice, nice. Simon Phipps also did Rick Dangerous on RMC Cave last week. Nice. There's a video coming out next week of his talk. Did he talk anything about his Amstrad work at all, Velo? Cool. Sweet, sweet. Um, right, let's get a look at your scores then. It's a shame the music doesn't play much here. Let's put mine in the background. Um, okay, release Brian. <laughs> He's been released in the pub by the sound of it, Mr. Higgins. Right, Retro Limb, seven. Manship with nine and a half. Really likes this. Just Jace is seven. Uh, Watkins, Mr. Watkins, eight. Jolly, seven. Just say, just Jay says, decent. Eighties retro gamer, uh, seven. Clanny is seven. Uh, Maginite is seven. Johnny Boy is seven. Um, I seem to remember eight eight giving it something in the eighties. I reckon, I remember as well somewhere low eighty percent. I think Clanny, uh, Brian, a seven. Uh, it's like if Cho Anki was Cho Anki was released on the Amstrad. <laughs> Anna a six. Never the Savage is seven. It's a low bar, but this is one of the best licensed games. <laughs> Who is he fiction? Better than that Flintstones cobblers. Yes, exactly. Um Hello again, Andrea. Welcome back, Andrea. Robin Hook, an eight. Um Sorry, your son has your iPad. Oh, damn it, Andrea. It's your iPad. Um, 
Not a chance to watch the talk yet. Oh, okay, Bello. No worries, no worries. Hey, Julien. Good night. Bonsoir, Julien. I know it's late in France. You're gone 1am there, aren't you? So, good night, Julian. Thanks for joining me tonight. Terrible coffin, 6 out of 10. Barry, a 7.5. And Velo, 6.5. I don't know how they managed to make it no fun, but it's no fun. It gets a bit monotonous, if I'm honest. It, get, it starts getting a bit tedious, this game. It's not bad, but it's... I don't know... You're right, Velo. It's it sort of stops being a bit fun. This. He wasn't away, but you were just un unable to type because your son was on your iPad or something, uh, Andrea. And Amskid gives us 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, I'm around the 7.5 ish mark. It's actually well done. Nice graphics. But where's the music? Hey, Manuel! How you doing, Manuel? Oh my goodness, the 664! Let's give you the dancing sugars. Wow! Good evening, Am's gang. Greetings from sunny Switzerland. Whoa, Manuel! How you doing, Manuel? And how's Annette as well? How's it going, the Schultzes? Welcome! How you doing? From glorious Switzerland there. Sunny Switzerland. Is it nice and sunny where you are? Wow, how you doing, guys? Welcome! How's things? Welcome, the Schultzes. Thank you so much. Can we have some bananas in the chat, as always? Let the bananas rain down for the Schultzes. How you doing? How you guys been? Let the bananas rain down. Thank you so much. It's very, very kind and generous of you. The 664. Oh, Andrea, you put your iPad down for a second and left the room. Oh, never mind, Andrea. Never mind. Okay, boys and girls. We'll leave the Monty Python there. What should be the next game? Suggestions and requests in the chat. And let's see those... Uh, let, oh, my bananas didn't work there. Let's see those bananas for the Schultzes there. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you very, very much. And if you've got a game request, let me know, Manuel, for a TV go TV show turned into a game. Airwolf 2. That's not a bad idea, actually. Airwolf 2 does have brilliant music. Um, spitting image. Oh, Jetsons. Confessions of a Bedroom Colder, starring Robin Asquith. Inspector Gadget. Don't know if the Amsterdam had an Inspector Gadget game. No, we didn't have an Amsterdam game, unfortunately. Remind me, Vice. You're you want to see a very angry Zypho? Get me to play Miami Vice. Airwolf 2 was decent. Airwolf 2 is brilliant music. Uh, Mid-level, which is weird. Yes. Uh, Airwolf... God! Several people want Airwolf 2. Seriously. Okay. You want Airwolf 2. Airwolf 2 Electric Boogaloo. Becky had an Inspector Gadget game, but it was kind of bad, in my honest opinion. Oh. Nice loading screen, though. This went straight to budget, by the way. Never got a full price release from Elite Software, which might tell you all you need to know. It's like a movie that goes straight to DVD or straight to video. Didn't go to the cinema. Airwolf 2, the misery continues. <laughs> got a tune here I, I just need to grab another drink from the fridge enjoy this tune on the title screen here be right back in 30 seconds
Sorry about that. I dropped my can on the floor and things went everywhere. So we get actually some good music here. Title screen music is all right, but it's about it's all about the tune in game. Mid level tune is a banger. Yes, yes. Thunderblade graphics like an explosion in a Lego factory. Yeah. Actually, I've still got some stickiness on my hands. One second. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I spilt a drink in the kitchen when I was getting it. Never mind. Okay, sorted. Uh, that other game with a helicopter we were trying to think of might have been Turbo Chopper. Might have been, yeah. Okay, right, okay. Joystick. And off we go. Don't worry, no music to start off with, but it's about the mid-level music, as the retro name stated. Specky port, though. Smart bomb we've just picked up. We don't want the smart bomb. How do we activate... In the next weapon. Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. What's the key to activate? Um... Oh, alt. Okay, I've got to speed up. So I've got ah, it's alt to activate the wep uh, the uh, weapon you picked up. So I've got to speed up now. Wee! Doesn't last forever. Actually, this might be a bit dangerous to have. Oh, there we go. Oh God. Uh, a change. Uh, I've got a double weapon there. Right, hopefully we can get through this bit. There we go. Smart bomb we don't need. Oh, music! Here's the tune. Reminds me a bit of Kronos. I think it's by the same guy who did Kronos. That's why I'm David. Yeah. Oddly enough, I love CBC Thunderblade, but I kind of regret paying $9.99 for it. Exactly the same, Clanny. Ditto. Ditto. I have a strange liking of Thunderblade, but not for nine ninety nine. Oh, it's got the laser weapon. If you activate anything else, you lose the current thing you've got. like this tune. The Airwolf 2 is scuffed scramble, pretty pretty much. Helicopters in space works. <laughs> yeah, I know. Who thought this put so we have helicopters in un tight underground caves in Airwolf 1 and they thought let's rectify that. Let's put helicopters in space. Yeah.
Right, that one I just picked up is in standby is a speed up. Might have been handy to get past the little cannon things here, actually. And then music stops. I'd rather have the music playing here, actually. All right, what's the chat saying? Properly. Um, let's catch up the chat properly. So, uh, L2 is what would happen if crazy billionaires tried to make a super job as a smoothie. Um, right. Uh, it's not really the crappy rendition of the Airwolf theme from the first game. So, no, we don't even get the proper Airwolf theme, to be fair. That sucks, actually. Um, but it's still better than the last one, but that's not much saying much. Are we going to get an Ask Candle rating from Anna? Hmm. It's it's a passable shoot em up. It's passable. It's slow. It's cumbersome. But it's kind of playable. Should have got a choplifter and CPC. I know. It's a chop, a choplifter is prime for a ripoff here. With the Airwolf license. And they failed on both times just to do choplifter. On the Amstrad, but with Airwolf. Yeah. That's the tune. Manuel, you know it. You know it. You love it. Right, you know this tune. You love it. <laughs> uh, that's definitely better than Airwolf 1, though. It is better than Airwolf 1. I think so, yes. Are you sorry about wasting 199 on Firebird games? Study the screenshots for half an hour in the shop. I know that feeling. Who who agonised looking at screenshots on their games on the shelves and like, which one do I spend my pocket money on? In WH Smiths and Woolworths. Because they meant a lot back then. Hmm. Scores out of 10 for Airwolf 2 then, boys and girls. And we'll move on shortly. Oh, actually, this... You have an auto fire on the laser. I didn't realise actually. You can hold down a fire button, the laser auto fires. We've got a shield we can use here. No! Get ready, Airwolf 2. I don't want to lose the laser though. The laser's nice. Shield is active. Oh, we kept the laser. Oh. Well, that was the toughest bit of the game. Should we go on the top bit? Smart bomb. Nah, don't want any of those pickups. Oh, you do fight a... I think you fight a giant, a giant helicopter at the end of the game. Shield is active. What the fuck? Bart, you see the electricity bolts there? Wow! And a colour palette change. We're now into the pink zone. I 
quite far into this. Holy crap. Go, 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 go. If I need to get another shield pick up, that would be great. Yes! No! Why does the last block not blow up there? That was bull crap on the um that You saw that chat, you saw that. I was why did those last little blocks not didn't blow up there? Hey Magic Knight, good night Magic Knight. Take care. Night night. I'm annoyed at that. We're like quite close to the end. And there's actually a big, I'm sure there's like a big giant helicopter we have to shoot and blow up at the end. Oh, nice music here. Let's look at the scores then. 80s Retro Gamer gives it a 6 out of 10. Uh, CDJ, 1 out of 10. 6 out of 10 Retro on Limb, Amskid 6.5, Mr. David Watkins a 6 out of 10, Jace a 4 out of 10, Terrible Coughing a 7, Brian a little better than Airwolf, and uh, 6.5, Clanny 6.9 out of 10, Matt Myers a 7, Manship was 6.667 out of 10, Bello 6 out of 10, it's okay for a budget game but it's a specky game, yeah, Barry 6 out of 10, I agree with being Kronos with music, Manuel, 7 out of 10. Magic Knight, 5 out of 10. Morda, 4. Same engine as Kronos, yes. I don't know why the music stops, it's stupid. I know. It's a looper. And then, yeah, after you destroy the boss, the big boss, um, it loops. Yeah, yeah. Um, Anna, arse candle, 3 out of 10, slow and painful, like pooing a hedgehog, <laughs> whilst it's on fire with a gruff nut museum, <laughs> an eggy gas discharge, but hey, at least it's not the first one, Anna, fantastic description there, Amskid, 6 out of 10, Jack, a 5, and we will leave, Airwolf 2 there, Bum 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 my view count's been stuck for a while hasn't it sorry chat all right guys and girls what's our next game suggestions in the chat and requests spitting image that has been requested a few times tonight bloody minder god <laughs> Ace Magazine their scores out of a thousand. More than 5 out of 10 and Batman gives it a 7 out of 10 as well. Gladiators didn't make it to the Amstrad. Spitting Image. 2 for Spitting Image. Huxley Pig, I wouldn't mind checking that out, Clanny, actually. I think Ed the Duck we did on part 1 stream. What am I looking at wacky races either? Oh god, not my novel person for minder. <laughs> it's it's rubbish. Super Ted. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Oh yeah, I, you say we'd look at Defenders of the Earth. Write the theme tune. Sing the theme tune. <laughs> uh, 
Huckleberry Hound. Hello, Plachain. How you doing? Did Huckleberry come onto the Amstrad? I don't know if it did. No, it didn't, actually. Defenders of the Earth. That's two for Defenders of the Earth. And Spitting Image. Oh, another one for Spitting Image. All right. I'll try and do Spitting Image. Um... Oh, I need to download it. I'll try and get the proper de disc for this. Oops, I got the wrong one. Um, for those of you not in the UK, you might not know what spitting image is. How would you describe spitting image to our French and Spanish and American viewers? Chat. And I will do Defenders of the Earth after that. I wouldn't mind looking at Super Ted as well. And Huck, um, Huxley Pig, actually. Right. Um, okay. So, Spitting Image. Spitting Image. Actually, this got released in France, actually. I'm surprised at that. Because... It's a satirical comedy, uh, and they did. Uh, it was like kind of political satirical comedy, lampooning various like world leaders and stuff like that, and political stuff. And they did it via grotesque grotesque puppets, as you can see here. There's Margaret Thatcher, Ronald Reagan, Mikhail Gorbachev. This, this was the 80s. There's Pope John II. Um, <laughs> um, the Prince. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, there's Rambo. Um, some more box art there. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the same there. So it was a really popular show in the 80s in the UK. I don't know if it got translated over to France. Uh, any French people in the chat? Um, um, Manuel, did this ever get oh, shown in like Switzerland? Um, have we got any French people left in the chat? Um, hey, Zidulan. Good evening, Zidulan. Welcome. Any Spanish people from Spain here? I wonder if this ever got... Um, so we've got a French release. It got released in Spain. So it got released in Spain. Yeah. Spanish release as well. So... Hmm... Well, I wonder if it actually got shown on TV in Spain and France and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, they have to. Uh, did it bring it back on TV recently? I didn't watch. I didn't watch the new series or anything like that. But I, I barely remember watching it as a kid, though. I think my parents tried to stop me watching it. They thought it was too naughty or something. But hey. Um, but yeah. Okay. Right. Um. I need to stop that in my live chat. Hang on. What the? What happened to my live chat? My live chat's just disappeared. What the fart? Someone say something in the live chat. Uh oh. What the fuck? Why is my live chat window broken? Right, it's back. Oh, God. 
And it's broken again. What's going on? It's disappeared again. Uh -huh. Yeah, why is that gone? Oh, it's back. Okay. All right, it's back. Sorry, I cannot do the white. It's doing that. Okay, that's odd. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. Right. Okay, so let's get spitting image running. Sorry about that, chat. Okay, so this is spitting image spitting image um hello arnie how you doing my friend welcome oh within the next seven years a world war creator then all the other will wars will take place a war so great, even the Swiss will get involved this time. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Manuel. Uh, a war so terrible that the Italians will already have surrendered. One leader will emerge from this war to rule the world. It is your task to stop this leader and save the world. These are the... One... Oh, I missed the rest of that message. These are the ones that will... Whatever, something... A bedtime for dinosaurs. Good night, chat. Good night, Zopa. Hey, good night, Velo. Take care, Mr. Dave Velociraptor. Good night, mate. Good night. Hey, it's the famous theme song. Is that Bono top left? <laughs> Ronnie the Clown. Yeah, I think he was, he was depicted as like a, like a clown, I think. So we got Pope John Paul II. Is he like depicted like a, a maf mafia type guy of shades? I don't know. Pope John II. Ronald Reagan, Margaret Thatcher, Boffer. Who the hell's Boffer? I don't. I don't remember him. The Queen on a stamp. I, I can't read that name. I'm not quite sure who that is. And Gorbachev. No. no oh, is, is it Gor Gorby? He's got a spinning birthmark on his head. Is that Ayatollah Khomeini? Is it? Right, okay. One or two players. How do you select one player here? Let me just check. Manual. Oh, there isn't an English scan of the manual. Great, okay. Hybrid sickle birthmark, yeah. Bloody hell. Right, do I select one here for one player? Press one for joystick, or two for keyboard, one. Find player one sidekick. Right, should play should play as the queen. Select 
your opponent? I don't know. Should we fight the Pope? Select your champion. Queen? Uh, oh, not. Okay. Queen versus Maggie. I don't know. I don't want her as a champion. Let's, uh, let's try to choose Ronnie. So, I think. I think that's it. What's going on? Oh no, I'm Ronald Reagan. So I'm Ronald Reagan on the left. Right, oh. I don't I didn't really want to be Ronald Reagan. I thought I could be um I wanted to be the queen. <laughs> oh, I've got this long neck attack. Wow. Okay. Fire and left does the long neck attack. Fire and right does like a punch. Fire and up does that thing. Success is near. Firing up, there's a punch there. Okay. So you have a little sidekicky dude that comes on and does stuff. The Pope is a guitar. Oh. <laughs> I don't really understand how the um, sidekick, little mini sidekick thing works. Uh... The poor man's ninja granny. Yeah. <laughs> I seem to be winning, though. Oh. Oh. Right, I've got to win another round. Okay. Ow! Ow! He's got this long range attack that works re oh, really well. Oh no! I've won again just by, just by, just by spamming that long necked attack. Select your opponent. Alright. Let's fight that guy. Select your opponent. Select your champion. Alright. Kill Maggie. I oh, know. Let's be Gorbachev. Let's see what this dude does then. Ding dong. Right. Okay. Um. All right, uh, cold is another word for name in American English. Okay, needs John Major of his grey face and peas. Oh, hang on, we're in. The Gorbachev has a yo-yo. Oh, he's got a spray can. All right, okay, fire and right does his spray can. Why has he got a spray can or deodorant can? What? Fighting outside an oil field. You win another round. Uh, it's okay, this. It's a pretty bog standard beat em up. And I don't know how you control your little um, sidekicky dude. Ow! Oh no, I've been knocked down. 
Right. Let me just catch up the chat uh, quickly. Uh, it's very well presented, but the gameplay isn't up to much. No. No. Street Fighter John Sargent style. Leader of the Vatican paramilitary unit. A bit like that Ninja Granny Bee to month. It's a clan. It's limited, but fun for half an hour. <laughs> Built Uncle Sam from in burgers. I think they were. I think he was with the, um, uh, what you call it? Ronald Reagan guy. But yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what you do with the little dudes and how you control them. I think firing up seems to get them on screen and get them to sh throw stuff, I think. Uh, I think we're in, in I think we're, we, I think we are in Iran at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the Iranian leader, the Ayatollah of rock and roller. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea who that guy is at the moment. Maggie Thatcher, milk snatcher. What did she did she do anything good at all? Yeah, Clanny, she died. <laughs> Says Red Shot <Shotman. laughs> Better late than never, probably. Uh Graffiti on the Berlin Wall. Uh right. Um, right. Oops. Hang on. What have I pressed here? Okay, okay, okay. We're back. So, for some reason, Gorbachev has a yo-yo by the looks of it. I don't know why he's got a yo-yo attack. My god, I'm getting my ass handed to me here. It's 2 1 to him. He doesn't have the long neck attack or like, um. What's his face? Um. Had. What's this? It's like a disco move or something. No! You lost. And that's game over, I think. That's about it, really. Um, What do we think to this then, guys? Hey, Oxo! <laughs> How you doing? Hmm. Alright. It's alright for a laugh. But it's not much of a game, I don't know, for full price, I think. Scores out of 10 for this. Uh, let's have... Go on, then. Select your opponent... Let's have this guy versus Maggie then. Six out of ten from Metro Lim. David gives it five and a half. Jack seven. Matt Myers a six. Man shovel eight and a half. Vimmy! Hello, Vimster. Says it's Bobbins. Anna a five. May May's nine out of ten presentation. Oh, why is he having a pee? What the hell is Maggie doing? Maggie's got boxing gloves. He's having a pee on the floor. What the fuck? And Maggie's wearing a wig. I think. Uh, my ZT gives it a question mark out of 10. Arnie a 7. Zebra Coffin a 6. Maud a 6. Uh, Oxo 6 out of 10. Just J to 6. What's the what's the peen thing all about? With the uh, South African um, president or something. Maggie doesn't seem to have any special attack. What is that 
What's that thing Maggie's doing? Looks like she's having a cigarette and throwing, throwing a cigar or something. Uh, Noble Savage gives it 9, Just Chase a 6, Clanny 7 out of 10 if it's on Hit Squad. It was on Hit Squad, yes. Wiggle Maggie. Uh, Batman gives it a 7. Oh. And Robin Hood gives it a 7.5. Maggie defending nonsense MPs and probably delivering babies for Jebby and Jimmy Several to eat. Oof. Oof. Margaret was Czech, wasn't she? No, she was from bloody Grantham. Not far from where I live. Pile Hang has a 6 out of 10. I had it. It's funny as she but gets a bit repetitive soon after. Pee Wee Boffer. I don't understand these, like, urination thing. <laughs> Maybe someone needs to explain that. I, have d I don't know what's going on there. Uh, Barry gives it a 6 out of 10. How do you complete this game? I don't know. I think I've got game over because I lost. I think you got to defeat... Um, each of them have to be defeated, I think, one by one. If you lose, you start over again. I think. I think. Right, that was Spitting Image. They hold an egg throwing contest in Grandpa every weekend, I've heard. There's some pesky CCTV these days, but that's just an extra target. Right, well... That was Spitting Image. Uh, looks like an average score of about 6 out of 10 to me. I think I'll probably agree with that. 6, uh, six and a half-ish from me. Nicely presented though, but a pretty um, limited... Pretty limited beat-em-up game. Mm. Uh, oh yeah, I said I was going to do Defenders of the Earth next. Uh, right, let me just get the disc of this. Defenders... Of the earth. Uh, I can't remember which. There's a few people asking for this one. Um, Clanny, weren't you? Or was it Huxley Pig? You were asking for Huxley Pig, weren't you? Uh, but a few people asking for this one. Defenders of the earth. Right. We'll get past the capture code on the uh, CPC Power website. Bear with. Come on, CPC Power. There we go, just download it. Right. Of the Earth. Defenders of the Earth. Pause my music here. I know it's a university hated due to the inability to tackle apartheid. Yes, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, nice loading screen there. English or French? English. Ah, same team behind Kickoff 2 conversion. Oh! Music here. A bit quiet. Turn it up a touch. Is this the Defenders of the Earth theme? Show you the box art. There you go. There you go, chat. Between Flash Gordon and his friends, Mandrake the Magician, Lothar, and the Phantom against the evil Ming the Merciless. His attempt to rule the world. Kidnapping the defender's children, he issues a dire warning. Interfere and the children and your children die. Control Flash as he searches for children in the mysterious fortress of evil. Hmm. There you go.
Uh, let's quick, a quick scan of the instructions. Right, okay, okay. You need to call in that, I remember this now, because when you get to a certain location and you get stuck, you need to call in the help of the other, um, your other team members, and there's a special key to do it, and you need to press one. There might be an area you can't get across, like a chasm or something like that, you press one on the keyboard to call in the help of the of your other team members. Right, okay. Ah, okay. Okay, oh music's just finished there. Let's let's play. Remember this beam cro Looks okay so far. Oh. Energy level's really low. Oh, oh my god. Nice and colourful, nice and smooth. Although it is single screen. Oh, Jesus. What the fart? That's game over already? Uh, Flash Gordon is a game on the end. There is a Flash Gordon game. Yes, there's a separate Flash Gordon game. I think I've done a long play on my channel years ago. Um, wow. This game is unforgiving. My energy left. Oh. oh, I lost a life there. I, I didn't realize I lost so many lives. Jesus. But I pressed one of my keyboard. I called in a guy, one of my team members to open a door there. And he's opened a door. Right, okay. Ow! And I've lost another life. Oh, for God's sake. Energy there. Well, I've called in a team member there to get, get this door open for me. Intruder alert. Oh, God. I thought that's a computer I needed to use. Oh, for God's sake. Game over. All right. We've made some progress there. Bloody hell. Earth in the hands of Zypho. We are doomed. Wow. All right. We got some progress there. We got to a boss. Bloody hell, that was ridiculously hard. <sighs> Good lord. You had this back in the day, Brian. Did you get any far in it? GP says, doesn't it feel like much like the cartoon? Does it feel a bit more like the cartoon now? El Captain Chirano reskins, you reckon? Seven minutes of gameplay here. Like Benny Hill. Um... RGD liked it, but struggled with the difficulty too. I mean, it moves really smoothly, even though it's single screen. Nice, colourful graphics. Okay, sound effects. 
We would, would have liked some music in game. Remember, this is the AM selection cover take. Far too tough. Big boss there. There was a big boss. And I could never get anywhere in this bloody game. Oh, that's tough. I'll give it another try. Oh, for God's sake. I lost a life there. Oh. Did I lose? Can I start again, please? How quickly you die. Wow. That is one of the quickest game overs. Start off. Oh, there's a gun there. I've got a better gun. Ah, I missed that earlier. Ah, I'm trying to get in the door then. It wasn't letting me. Energy restore that. Nice. Uh, oh god, life back. Life restore. Cool, 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 cool. I don't know. Am I actually hitting that boss? I think I am. Oh, I think I killed it. I think I... Yay! Oh, arse. Bloody hell. GG's in the chat. GG's in the chat. We, 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 we did a thing. We've got no lives left. Oh, we're nearly dead again. Oh! Bloody hell. Holy crap. All right. Defenders of the Earth. What do we think to that thing, guys? Uh, wow. That's tough. You played this with invincibility cheat and got stuck, did you, Claddy? I wonder how far into the game I got. I wonder if there's a, a map. I don't know if there's actually uh, much to the game. Here's the map. We started there. I remember we went through the door. There... We got through. We called a defender. Um, extra five. I remember getting the gun. Uh, I went for a door and a door. Where was the boss? There. That was the boss we just fought. And we went through a door and a door. Bloody yeah, hell, we are, we are, I think we got halfway through the game. Yeah, we got the, oh yeah, we picked up an extra gun, didn't we? No, we picked up an extra gun. I think we got to about here. Guys, we are half, we got halfway through the game. We got halfway through the game. Uh, if this is anything. Bloody hell. How the hell's that symbol meant to be? 
on, on this thing. Wow. So it's doable. It's probably a short game. How much is this game then? Jesus. Wow. It's evil, says Robin. If it's really tough and no grab factor. Um, wow. Um, Batman says it's tough, but after a practice, you can make progress. Kind of reminds me of the learning curve of the game North Star. Also very tough. But moving and shooting quickly. I can see that, Batman. I can see that. Anna gives it 6 out of 10. GP, 7 out of 10. Bum mushrooms. Uh, Rest of them, 7 out of 10. Too fast and manic. Um, Robin says, that's as far as I've ever seen, says Rob. Oh. Um, Anna says, too hard for its own good. Batman says, 8 out of 10. A load of cobblers from Clanny, 4 out of 10. Matt, an 8 out of 10. Robin, a 5. Brian says, bum biscuits. Uh, main main 7 out of 10. Reminds me of an SMS game, but yeah, it's a bit small if you know what you're doing. Mike's ET, not sure. One already, one already not rated state. Fair enough, Mike. Just chill. Yeah. Fanny is a secret lemonade drinker with Johnny. Don't trust them. Oh, white lemonade. Anna, 5 out of 10 then. Too short or too hard like GP. <laughs> Maud is a 5 out of 10. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay all right then chat time for your next suggestions then what's our next um tv uh show turned into an amateur cpc computer game oh a man show we're coming in with a seven out of ten. Oh. flesh like gordon Oh my goodness. Bloody hell, what's this? Question, why don't witches wear knickers? To get a better grip. Oh! <laughs> Good grief. Who's that? That's... I'm not sure, actually. I'm waiting for my phone to update. Good grief. Man Shovel, thank you, Man Shovel, for that exclamation mark. Pumpkins in the chat for Man Shovel. Thank you, Man Shovel. Delightful. That's delightful. Lovely. Thank you, Man Shovel. Uh, posing there as flesh like Gordon. There was like frick. Oh, God. There was. um quite a famous porn movies weren't they called flesh gordon jesus i remember that vhs being passed around the school yeah um anyway um time for docular oh god do we have to beer though do we have to there was actually a doctor who game yeah oh my oh gosh my eyes got a bit funny might need a little break soon actually um, yes, there was Doctor Who in the Minds of Terror, and it still had, um, Colin Baker as the Doctor Who at that time. Um, yes. Um, right, surprise, surprise. No, there wasn't, no, there wasn't based on the Cilla Black TV show, Anna. Uh, Trapdoor. We did have it on the part one stream. Uh, Alfida saying, don't think that made it. There was, bizarrely, I think there was an Alfida saying pet game. I think a text adventure on a other system, but it didn't come to the Amstrad. Um, Super Ted. I did promise you that. I did promise Super Ted. Good call. Good call, Retro on them. I did promise Super Ted. Okay. Super Ted. Yeah. Okay. Super Ted. Super Ted. I, I loved that uh, cartoon as a kid. 
And boys and girls, if you've been enjoying the stream, don't forget to give us a like and a thumbs up. What are we up to at the moment? I think we're up to 50 likes and thumbs up, aren't we? Uh, yeah, thank you, boys and girls, for all the likes and the thumbs up. I think we've got 50 likes. Thank you so so much, uh, if you have done. And if you haven't, I appreciate the likes and the thumbs up, because it does help get the stream more noticed and, and presented to new people by the Google algorithms and all that. Um, Asterix and the Magic Cauldron. That's not a bad shout, Man Shovel. By Enigma Variations. It's the same. That's the same team you did. Um, bloody um, the last game. Defenders of the Earth. Oh God. I always think of OSG as Super Ted. Why is that, GP? Do you remember Super Ted? Any Super Ted fans? Is that all the music? That music was a bit rubbish, actually. Uh, Super Ted. Um, any Super Ted fans? Uh, I don't know. There's the box art. I liked the cartoon as a kid. I don't know if any... Uh, I, I was quite young at the time, though. His friend Spotty. Oh, God. Um, um, Texas Pete. That was the villain. Texas Pete. Yeah, it's coming back to me now. Who was the skeleton dude? I don't... Oh, and there was that guy there. I don't remember these two. Oh, hang on. Uh, Bulk! One of Texas Pete's henchmen. A large, bumbling idiot who was always making mistakes. And it literally just called Skeleton. Texas Pete's other sidekick is almost as bad as Bulk, but slightly more brains. How's he got more brains? He's a skeleton! Spotty, Super Ted's best friend, an alien from the planet Spot. He's rather careless and has a habit of getting lost. Super Ted's spaceship there. Oh, right. Cool. Okay. Bull, you remembered. Yeah. Well done, Jack. Raiders in the school. Could have, like... Yeah, but... Yeah, but, like, it's a skeleton. Like... Oh, anyway, okay. All right. Yeah, nice mohawk and spotty. Yeah, manchival approves, probably. <laughs> okay, all right, let's get the game going. Pause up there. Right, up for easy or down for hard. Let's just go for easy and see how we do. Level one. What? I don't quite remember what you have to do here. Pete has got me. Right, graphics is nowhere near as good as uh, the last game we were playing. Right, okay, controls are weird. Up, oh, goes up. Fire seems to, holding fire seems to lock, lock Super Ted in place. Interesting. It's like an, it's an, ow. You must save me. It, it's an avoid em up. Fire button doesn't do out. Okay. Uh, it doesn't scroll very smoothly. Uh, the graphics are rather basic, uh, but it's colorful. Super Ted. I vaguely remember the theme tune. Ow. Help me, Super Ted. All right, I'm getting there. Hey. 
Okay. It was hard to see those green helicopters. Bloody hell. Oh, uh, collision section was a bit, I don't know, not sure on that, okay. Oh, for God's sakes, really? Hmm. I really don't like Banana Man and Super Ted anymore. I don't know what happened. Really? I love Banana Man and Super Ted as a kid. But then again, I haven't watched it since. Is it any, I can't know if it's on any TV channels. Um, not majorly impressed by this so far. Um, yeah. Hey, Music Man, how you doing, Music Man? Welcome. We'll give this another try. All right, let's see if we can get to the end of this level. Maybe I'm going too slowly. Go, 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 go. Gotta catch up with that car. Go, Super Ted. Help me, Super Ted. We don't have any music in games. Sound effects are very sparse and barren. Uh, graphics was colourful. Oh, ooh, ooh. Okay, um, they're a bit on the simplistic and blocky side. Oh! I've caught up with the car. How do I stop it? Ah! Oh! I caught it with the car, but how do you stop it? Stop there. Didn't Super Ted rip off his foot every time he transformed his super form? No. Something like that, I think. Bit weird. Bit weird. Was this a budget? Yes, it's a budget game from Alternative Software. Uh, so I've been happy with this back in the day as a fan of the cartoon. Yeah. I'm reading the manual. Take care as you chase off the spots because Super Ted will be attacked by Texas Pete's evil forces. The only way to get, get, uh, get away is by knocking them out of the way by punching them using Super Ted's super strength. Oh, you can punch! You just by pressing buttons. The bad guy reaches Super Ted. Time be very careful as he can lose a life. If the bad guy gets you, shown by the small heads and bottom panel. Uh, at the end of the first level, will be Skeleton standing waving a club over his head. You must try to punch him many times with dodging underneath the club. Successful, you're transported into space. The second level, the bad guys get badder. As it gets hotter, and Texas Pete won't wait to ambush. Get ready, super bodies, depending on you. Uh, okay. What's the point in chasing the car then? I don't get it. So we can punch bad guys. Ah! Oh, for fart sakes.
Right, caught up with him. You must save me. Right, punch that guy. Well, where's this, like, guy I'm supposed to be punching? There's supposed to be a... a bit... oh. I don't know what you're supposed to do. I don't know what you're supposed to do. Um... Strange, I remember these uh, sound effects by not playing this in three decades. Do you remember what? Do you know what I'm supposed to do with the freaking car? Punch the guy in the turret. Maybe. Uh, at the end of the first level, it will be skeleton standing waving a club over his head. He must try to punch him. I just don't. I don't would not bother chasing this car. I don't get it then. First purple punch the purple headed clown. Punch the CPC keyboard. Right. Okay. I don't think I need to chase after the car, essentially, I think. I don't think I need to chase after the car. But um Okay. Alright, what do we think to Super Ted then? Scores out of 10. I'll give this one more quick go. I'll give this one more quick go. And then we'll move on to the next game. Any more scores out of 10 for this one? Wasn't there a Yes Prime Minister game? I think there is. But I think it's dull as dishwater. I'm assuming anyway. Oh, for goodness sakes. Lost a life already. Punched him. There you go. One's been punched. The other one's been punched. There you go. That one's been punched. bat flew down oh, oh i'm done with that one it might be a fun game to sort uh, if i spent more time on it i don't know six out of ten uh anna gives it a five retro number seven Funny teams on nes is good as how to do a cartoon game i think i played a similar game a tiny teams game on the game boy it was pretty good as well gp hmm i might be mistaken there my memory's pretty fuzzy but um Tiny Toons, I think that yes, that rings a bell. Uh, terrible coughing, a five out of ten. Uh, main reason, I think the car is just decoration. When it gets to a certain point, you get a boss and the level ends. I, you're probably right, main. You're probably right. Yeah. Uh, Robbie gives it a four. More to five. Actually, very specific. Seven point three three seven four three two five six out of ten. Jack a seven. Spotty's probably screwed with me playing it anyway. Yeah. Noble says five, not as good as Minder. Wink. Um. Uh, don't make me play Minder. Is there an 18 game for the Amstrad? Yes, Matt. Yes, I did a whole long plane review video on my channel. Um, not too long ago. Um, uh, it's a Spanish only game though. We can have a look at 18 if you want. You, uh, you want the Simpsons game next? I don't know. Let's see how many people want the Simpsons game. Requests in the chat for the next game, boys and girls. We'll move on from Super Ted. Damn, I wanted to see what the next level's like. I think the next level of Super Ted is it as an into the screen shoot 'em up level set in space. I kind of wanted to see what was next on Super Ted, but we'll move on. Get another game, a few more games in tonight.
that's a C yeah C64 in the 18 game. And the Amstrad 18 game is a kind of laggy Operation Wolf type game. Might read pop quiz. We might do like a quiz game. Uh, just like the last game of the night. You get the chat involved. Doing some quiz. Yeah. Remind me in, uh, in maybe in 10-15 minutes, Clanny. Wacky Races. That's not the first time that's been requested tonight. Could have a look at Wacky Races. Did you have any of these games growing up? The ones we've done tonight? Um, the ones we've done? Actually, a lot of them, no. That's why I picked them. Uh, or um, ones we haven't seen on the AM stream before. Pink Panther, no. Super Ted, no. Friends of the Earth, no. But I did have the one le first level demo on the Amstrad Action cover tape. Um, what's the other ones we've done tonight? I, I never, I didn't have Monty Python. I didn't have um, uh, oh, uh, challenge. Uh, what was it? Not challenge of the goat. Oh God, the one that uh, OSG asked for. The one that was the, the elite ripoff. I didn't have that one either. I never heard of it before. Um, was there a Knight Rider game? There was, yeah. Huxley Pig. Popeye. Um, Vespertino. Huxley Pig. Huxley Pig. Oh, oh, sweet. Super kickoff. What? Vespertino? Huxley Pig. Well, there's an unusual one. I don't think I remember seeing this, um, but like it looks kind of sweet actually. You have a look at Huxley Pig. Night Rider Amstrad takes off around eighty pound on eBay like, last week. Really, bloody hell! Maybe save um, Night Rider for part three, or I don't know of this. But Huxley Pig. Look at this. Oh, how sweet. I don't remember, um, I don't remember watching this. We do Huxley Pig. Let's have a look at this then. Go on then. Have a look at this one. Huxley Pig. Four games in one. Four games in one. Played it before on stream. If we have, it's probably years ago. Probably years ago. Part one or two. It's a two part game. Very interesting. I'll pause my music there. Sam Siegel, Vile Vincent, Horace, Sydney. Um. I assume this is, must be the theme tune from Huxley Pig. Right. <laughs> Looks a bit copyright. Rodney 
Pep Film Fair 2090, presented by Alternative Software. What a title screen! Keep it on easy. Hit five to start. Okay. Good morning, Huxley. Oh, wow. Wow, that's him jumping. Oh! Avoid the spiders. What's he meant to, what, what are we meant oh, what are we meant to do, Clanny? I'll just pause it there. What the hell are you? What the hell are you supposed to be doing? Stop picking. It's four legs and a tail. Uh, Huxley jumps in the loo. Uh, who wants? Oh, stop it now. Uh, Real feed two is a killer. A white chip destroys it. Oh, sorry for you. Sorry. Um. What the hell are we meant to be doing here? High octane platform, this one. Eat your heart out, tuba Uber. Jet set piggy. <laughs> Huxley jumps onto a sausage. Got Stop it. Uh, <laughs> 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 the strawberry shortcake for cartoon and toys, a thing with girls in England. I've never heard of that, Matt. Sorry. I don't think so. Uh, I never did have a clue what to do on it. Oh god, I'm gonna have to read the manual quick. Um, uh, uh, you have to guide Hoxie through his house, find toys and items of clothing which he needs for his daydream adventures. Game starts with Hoxie standing in his bedroom. First objective is to get a toy to the toy room at the other end of the corridor. In order to do this, you must find a cross which has been hidden somewhere in the house. Finding the cross will enable you to pass a vile Vincent, the vampire pig, who is standing guard outside the toy room. On the travels, you will encounter many hazards. Horace the rodent in the attic won't let you pass until Hoxie finds a spanner. This will only happen once in a game. Uh, you may pass Horace at any time the spanner is found. Sam the seagull on the ground floor won't steal, steal Hoxie's toy, but only if you haven't found the set of clothes which relate to the toy. Uh... Four Bubble will always tell you what to collect. Possible Hoxie may need. Uh, it is possible that Hoxie may need to get into the attic in order to find the cross. And on his way, encounter Horace, the rodent who asks for the spanner. Looking at the spanner, Hoxie is bitten by the silly snake. In such a case, Hoxie will first have to look at the first aid box. Uh, of course, the small pictures in the football will change to show what to collect next. The only exception is when Hoxie is bitten by the snake, the football will simply put the word out, so you need to find the first aid box. What the hell am I looking for here? I'm looking, I'm looking for, I'm looking for this green thing uh, so I'm, I'm looking for this person this other picky person right Okay. Uh, 
A goose. Honk. Wow. Wow. That's game over. Oh, see, he's a pest control in the house, yeah. Um, man shovels. It's all right, everyone. I'm going back in the lurk mode and likely nap on the couch once again. Everyone have a lovely weekend. Cheers, over. Hey, man shovel. Take care, man shovel. Good night, my friends. Thanks to the donos and the bits. Take care, mate. Have a good one, dude. And all the best of Mrs. Shove as well. Oi, oi, oi. Take care, man shovel. Take care, mate. Have a good one. Um, let me just see if there's a quick map here. No, there isn't a map. So, all right. Rip. Upstairs, I guess. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Bloody hell. All right, one more go. I guess we've got to find that person and he's not in the attic. This is just insanely difficult. I would have thought your health is represented by the sandwich. this way maybe that character over here somewhere the guy in the the pig in the green ah oh, snake snake in the basement Fritzel pig. Oh, stop it. Stop it. I think this is a bad mood. I think we're going to get trapped by the snake down here. But there was no bugs locked. Oh, no. Oh, there's the cross we need to find. Give it a go. It looks bleeding impossible. TV Frog was marvellous though. Oh great, my controls have been reversed by um, touching the snake. We now need to find a first aid kit. Yeah, that's a sandwich, not a slice of cheese. Alright, scores out of 10 for Huxley Pig. I don't think this is going to get a high rating. It's bright and colourful. It appeals to kids, the graphics, I think. Needs some jolly music in the game, though, doesn't it? Why is there no jolly music played? It's a single screener. It's not really taxing on the CPU. Memory requirements and all that. I 
I'm sure. Um. Oh, I got. Uh, I'll just refill my sandwich. Nice. Found the cross. Where's this other person then, or piggy? Must be upstairs somewhere. Oh, you are joking. I'm done with this. Those little creepy glories go just too fast. Jesus Christ. Okay. Trouser snake bit you. Uh, hell. Right, May Maze gives it 2 out of 10. Matt Myers a 4. Retro Lim 3 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, not reading the rest of that. 2 out of 10 from Robin. I have any stuff that kills you, ruins it. Just make it puzzles only. Yeah. Hmm. Or is some kind of energy bar? I don't know. I, I, I hit those creepy crawlies quite a few times. It doesn't give you any indication of how many times you're allowed to be hit by them. Ugh. Hmm. Two out of ten. What nutter requested this one? <laughs> uh, Jack Firsby gives it ten out of ten. What? It's only by a four and a half. Hey, Rob Taylor, welcome. How you doing, my friend? That was a bit of Huxley Pig there. <laughs> Four out of ten from Noble Sage. At least some effort was put in uh, for a minor license. Uh, nine out of ten from Mike's ET. He's like the Shining. You can't leave. Three. Anna gives it four out of ten. Uh, fast movement and less baddies would have improved it. Yeah, Huxley moves very, very slowly. Whereas like the bugs go super, super, super fast. That one gives it three out of ten. Uh, GP three out of ten for the cheese. And Rob a three out of ten. Yeah, all right. I'm done with Huxley Pig. Shame. I it looks like a, quite a cute TV show. All right, what game we um, what game we doing next, boys and girls? Should we do a quiz show that um, got converted to the Amstrad? Sorry, which one? Or should we, or do you want a game, a normal game, or do you want a quiz show that has quiz questions? Let me know in the chat. Right, I need to uh, stretch my legs a little bit. So requests in the chat. Bloody minder. We haven't got a... If you want to do a little quiz, we got running out of time because it, it probably will be maybe last game of the night. So, um... If you want a quiz, let's do a quiz. It's up to you, chat. All right. Let me just give my legs a stretch and get... A, uh, so, put your request in the chat. And I'll be right back.
All right, chat. All right. What do we want then? Normal game, minder, minder, quiz. Go out with a bit of minder at the end. Real Ghostbusters. Quiz. You want, him, you want me to lose my absolute... I was going to say a rude word there. Crap. I <laughs> put my device on. Bloody hell. Might save Real Ghostbusters for the next part. We did do Real Ghostbusters fairly recently. I love Real Ghostbusters. Uh, I love it. I love it. Um... Ooh. What would you like to play? I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm open. I'm open to. Uh, I'm open to anything. You want to do a quiz chat? Um, Amstring peeps. Um, yeah, Zyper. What? 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 What you want to do? I don't mind. Uh, a couple of people want to do a little quiz. Are you not? Or are you not bothered? We could pick a quiz game like um, Every Second Counts or something like that. Every Second Counts. No quiz. Yes. I should have. I should have done a poll. Ellie Addicts. Is there a Teddy Addicts? Ah, oh, there isn't one. There is every there is every second counts. I think I've got this. Treasure hunt, trivial pursuit. Krypton Factor. Krypton Factor! I don't think we've ever had that on the AM stream before. Krypton Factor. Holy crap. Now that's interesting. That's interesting. Uh Let me get the disc for that. Now that's interesting. I don't think I've ever had the Krypton factor on the Amstrad uh, on the Amstream before. Now there's an obscure one. There's an obscure request. That's interesting. What is Krypton Factor? So that was a UK. T I think that was a UK TV show that might not have made it overseas. Where you are, Mike ZT. Show you. Krypton Factor. Wow. Um, so it was a mixture of like physical games and also qu uh, quiz questions. Uh, so you can see there. Well, they had contestants like climbing up things and stuff like that, doing assault courses and also doing other physical things in the studio. But then they were also ask uh, answering questions and stuff like that. Uh, it wasn't Krypton where Superman was from. <laughs> no book has to jump over 10 Ginsters lined up in length. <laughs> oh, there was an Am Yeah, they did an Amstrad game. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever had this on an Amstream before. Shall we have a look at this one? Do you get a both a bit of a game and a quiz? So chat, you can answer the quiz questions, but we also get a bit of a game with it. That could be a happy compromise. 
So, yeah. Okay, that's a compromise. Okay, all right. Okay, we'll have a look at the Krypton factor. See what that's like. It could be a load of, it could be a load of old tosh, but um, that looks like it's not loading the right file. Hang on. Our CPM to run. Okay. All right. Let's have a look. The Krypton factor. Yeah, something like that, Matt. Cake and eat it. It was a cool. It was a cool TV show. It's loading. That does not sound like it's loading. Um. Uh, who hosted it? What's his name? Gordon something or other. Why oh, that's that's not loading. Uh... Yeah, that's broken. The most boring man in the universe, Gordon Burns. He wasn't exactly the most exciting of presenters, was he? Wow. Okay, this won't load in. Why this? Wow, this won't load in WinApe. Okay, let's try another disk. Krypton Fat. Right. Let's see. Was he an arsonist? <laughs> Okay, let's try a crack uh, of the game then. Oh, Nish Campbell's crack. This will work. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, crack, uh, capture code to get in. Okay, I just downloaded another crack of the game. Right, let's try this. Krypton Factor, Nish Campbell Crack. Uh, okay, this program, based on the highly successful television quiz, so the Krypton Factor from Ground Zero, just in the show, you have to, you have the chance to compete against up to three or four friends or family in six exciting sections to make up the world's toughest quiz. Three sessions being completed, you're given the relevant points which will build up into the play with the highest number of points proves that they are the one with the greatest Krypton factor. The aim of the game is to find out which of the players is a super person. Each session tests and challenges different aspects of human ability, but both mental and physical tests which will stretch the best of us. Even played up to four players, first thing is entities it's been, uh, character uh, uh, and down. God. We remember these keys. Uh, we'll just try and remember it. We'll try and... Oh, music! Discuss gets to choose a character, return to edit, select, edit to end selection phase. Oh, this is coded by the guys who did Return of the Jedi on the Amstrad and the Vindicator game. Nish wrote a novel. I don't think re Nish wrote that. I think that was done by the guys. I think this is in-game. The gopher in this game. I don't think so. GP sound a gopher once, did you now? 
name Rick manager 27 from Hall okay Jane a teacher 22 from Essex okay but we have to wait this is showing all the players okay Sorry about the flowers, Gemma. I told you I told you I was What? What the hell's that message at the top of the screen? What is going on? Mike programmer, eighteen from Liverpool. Teacher, what? Okay, can this go through a bit quicker, please? You want to? We want to crack on. David Dussman, jo Joanna Secretary, 24 from London. Uh... Use cursor keys to choose a character. Right, okay. A manager, 27 from Hall. Jane, a teacher, 22 from Essex. I've got it working, okay. My joystick was clashing with the cursor keys. Mike, a programmer, 80 from Liverpool. Diane, a hairdresser, 33 from Glasgow. Dave, a dustman with a mullet. From 30 from Stratford. Joanne, a secretary, 24 from London. Glenn, a journalist, 22nd, 26 from Exeter. What a wicked moustache he's got. Aaron, a telephonist, 28 from Blackpool. Oh, we've got to choose someone. Right, okay. Where's the guy with the mullet? Dave the Dustman. Right, well, should we choose him? Okay. All right, okay. Um, hey, Lucas, how you doing, mate? <laughs> we'll be the mullet man. Occupation. <laughs> that will do. What? Okay, so one player selected. Yes. All right, we'll do that. We'll play as Mullet Man. Okay, mental agility. We'll try. Okay. Oh, Clanny, are you off, mate? I can no longer see a bleeding thing, so I really am going now. Night, everyone. Thanks for playing Hoxie. My pleasure, Clanny. Take care, Clanny. Good night, dude. Have a great weekend, mate. Night, night. And uh, Lucas, how you doing, Lucas? Welcome. How you been, mate? Been down the pub? Right, mental agility. Okay. Okay, is it, it it's locked up, I think. Right, how do you start this? Uh mental agility at two AM, I know.
Yeah, I've been in Boozer and a few out back. Fair enough. Fair enough, Lucas. Fair enough. Bloody hell. What's going on here? Bloody hell. I don't think I had this up running on real hard. I had a few copies. You could, uh, terrible copy could do some bedroom agility right now. <laughs> yeah, it always broke. What, this game, Anna? Did you have this? How'd you start? Is there some... Bizarre incantation you're supposed to recite to get this running? Ah, uh, how do you? Uh, I, I think it has it crashed. No, no, I didn't. It never worked above once. Pressing every key on the keyboard. Try the numbers. The only game is to get it working. I think it's crashed. Oh man, I really wanted to see the Krypton factor working. Most bug ridden game. Time for Minder. Actually, CPC Power lists of bugs. Okay. We'll try... Try run it in CPC EC email, emulator. Oh, oh, it works in Super CEC emulator. Okay. Okay. All right, we'll be... Uh... Okay, we'll be... We'll... we'll be Mr. Mullet again. Okay, all right, okay, yes. Oh! It works. Mental agility, press space to play, Mr. Mullet. Okay, it's working. It doesn't work in Win 8, but it works in CPC EC. Right, okay. The retro limit. Yeah, we're on different emulators. CPC EC emulator. I stare at Zyper's cute face, and even death seems timid. Oh, thank you, GP. Gunburn's still ticking. I don't know. I think he is. I think he is. He's 81 currently. Blimey. Still rocking. He's still rocking Gordon Burns. Bless him. All right. Press space to play. Mental agility. I have no idea what the controls are. What happens? What's going to happen here? All right. Here we go. Six, three, one, eight, seven. You got it wrong. The correct answer was... Oh, it's like a memory. Oh, it's a memory thing. Mental agility complete. Press space to see final scores. I don't even know what I was supposed to do there. I just had to get... Oh, it was like... It, it was showing some numbers here to remember it. God's sake. Wrapped on factor. That was it? the key for next event observation get ready to play mr mullet 
Wow, this is exciting. A space to start. A press space. A pressing space. I'm pressing space. I think it's glitched again. Enter. Oh, Fiber. Jane sat behind her counter and checked for change handed to her by the young man. Finding it to be correct, she stamped the receipt and handed it to him. Jane's mind wandered to the vacation that she would be sharing with her flatmate. Two weeks soaking up the sun in Mallorca was going to be heaven. As she served yet another customer, a small grey haired woman entered and went to the counter, fill out her form. Jane smiled to her sm herself at the woman's stockings which poked out of her grey coat. She completed the customer's statement and passed it to him. But, like most people in repetitive jobs, he could switch on to automatic whilst letting her brain wander. So, once again, she was on a beach. The bang brought her back to reality as the old woman dumped her bag on the counter in front of Jane and pushed her counter slip forward. A space to see alternative version. What the fuck is this going on about? A space is the alternative version. Jane sat behind her counter and checked the change handed to her by the young man. What? Finding it to be correct. He stamped the receipt. It's the most boring thing in the world and handed it to him. And Jane's mind wandered to the vacation that she would be sharing with her flatmate two weeks soaking up the sun in Italy. Hang on, it was Mallorca before. Going to speed me at heaven. He served yet another customer. A small grey haired woman entered and went to the desk to fill out her form. Jane smiled to herself at the woman's stockings which poked out of her grey coat. Completed the customer's 
statement and passed it to him. Like most people in repetitive, oh my god, switch on automatic whilst letting uh, brain wander. So once again, she was on a beach. Bang brought uh, back to reality as the old woman dumped her bag on the counter in front of Jane and pushed her counter slip forward. Oh, picture changes, text changes. Oh, text changes. Uh, Mallorca became Italy. Oh, there was another word. Oh, hang on. There was another word. Something became something else. Come on, chat. What was the other word? Were you paying attention there? Your account's been stuck for a while. What was the other word? Come on. Someone must have seen it. The Mallorca became Italy. Chat became asleep. And I was like, um. I know. When's the assault call surround? I know, Johnny Boy. I know. Krypton became Minder. You're not missing much on Minder, though, Jack. I'm telling you. I can hear, literally hear the boredom in Zypho's voice. I know. I can see a screenshot on CPC Power behind my uh, emulator of like the the bloody assault course round. I'm like, come on, I want to get to that. I know we're looking for the text changes and the the, the text change. Did anyone spot it? Someone rewind. Oh god, but no one saw it. I've listened to a kid read a story in elementary school. Is that dreadful? Not one of the 30 or 40 people on the stream saw saw the saw the saw the air uh, change. Glad I never bought this one. Had to yell. So not single person spotted it. Right. Uh, I I didn't see it either. It slammed and banged. Might have been that. Banged a bag against the desk on the desk. Slammed and banged. Might have been that. Picture changes. Oh, I wasn't looking at the picture. I wasn't looking at the picture at all. Ah, uh, we've asked this up completely. Oh. Observation scores zero. Zero, at least got one right. Mallorca was changed to Italy. They didn't, they didn't give me a point for that. Oh, the batteries are going in my headphones. What the hell? Wow. It didn't give me a single point. Response. 
space to play response section. Uh, left and right waggle. What what am I supposed to be doing here? What the fuck? I don't know. I'm just I'm just going up, up down, left, right. What? Oh, this is really hurting my fingers, guys. I'm having to do this on keyboard. It's QAOP only. Please tell me I've just got to get to the end here. Response section, press space to play. Quite better than the Street Hawk one. Was Family Fortunes on the Amstrad? Uh, I don't think so. No, sadly not. Space to play. What am I supposed to be doing here? What the hell am I supposed to be doing there? The time is up. <laughs> Zero points. Oh god. Gooby doo. What am I supposed to be doing there? Physical ability. I see if the joystick works here. Anything for the bike? No. Right. I've got the joystick out for this one. Okay. <laughs> I'm not actually doing anything. Is that he's auto running? Uh, what's going on? Uh, I don't get it. I wasn't doing anything there, and he was like auto running. It just like went across the entire obstacle course, uh, unimpeded, got to the end, and got zero points anyway. Got score for it. I got zero. Anyway! Or is that 10 points? I think that's zero. I think that's like colon zero. 
I think. Oh no, that was 10 points. No, I've got t I've got 20 points. Intelligence. Oh, I've got 10 points. Sorry, apologies. I thought it was like colon zero or something. So I've got 10 points for doing absolutely nothing. Uh, I think we've got to put... Uh, we're going to... I say... Uh, we're going to rotate these pieces round and put them in the puzzle. Oh, God, bull... Do you know what? Bulls this. I can't be asked with this. Scores out of 10 for um, Krypton Factor. It's trying, it, to be fair to it, it's trying, it is trying hard to do justice to the TV show. I'll give it that. It's trying really hard, but, um, uh, It's a mess of controls. Sometimes it wants you to use Q, A, O, and P. Some other times it wants cursor keys. Other other times I think it likes to want you to use the joystick. It's a mess. It's an absolute mess of controls. Um, presentation is all right. Would it, would it be nice to have some music that goes throughout the game? But, um, I don't know. Four out of ten for effort. Um, Johnny Boy. Good night, Johnny Boy. Take care, mate. Cheers for great nostalgic streams. I've had a great wicked buddy. Night, night. Take care. Have a good one. Thank you, Johnny Boy. Thanks, mate. You have a, yeah, nice nostalgic stream, I think, tonight. Yeah. Good night, Johnny Boy. Have a great weekend, dude. Take care, mate. And GP, good night, GP as well. Take care, GP. Thanks to Tono earlier <laughs> as well, mate. Lots of love to you too, man. And uh, have a great weekend, GP. Mwah. And GP gives it 10 out of 10 as well. It's a final insult. Uh, just Jay says, I thought it was 10. Wow. Retro Lim, 4 out of 10. Jack, 3. Robin Hooker, 4. Several coughing zero. Just Jace of five. Trey and eight. Matt Myers zero. Must be a rubbish TV show. The TV show was pretty cool or back in the day in the eighties. It's it's pro is not hasn't aged well if you go and watch it now, I don't think. But um it was cool back in the day. Six out of ten for efforts as uh, Lucas. Five for the riveting story. Um says just Jace. Four out of ten, Mike ZT, five is the middle okay game. And that is that for the, the for the Krypton factor. Oh dear, oh dear. And just to finish very quickly tonight, Minder. <laughs> That's the only good thing about the game at all. You wrote the theme tune, sang the theme tune. 
Is there a catchphrase game for the Amstrad? I, no, I don't think there was. I'm sure I looked for that. Look for that once. No, there isn't. Sadly. Blimey. And on that note. <laughs> I know, I know this UK thing, it's like someone thrown a nuclear bomb there and nobody noticed it. <laughs> and on that note, guys and girls, I'll have to head to our outro. It's late, it's nearly half two in the morning. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. <laughs> All right. That's me for tonight, guys. I better, I better call it there. I'm going to go up early tomorrow. All right, thank you, everyone. <laughs> and and uh, if you haven't given us a like and a thumbs up, please do before we go. I hope it'll help get the uh, stream and the channel um, noticed by more new people. That's how the Google algorithms work. So thanks uh, if you have given us a like and a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Um, I hope you enjoyed tonight. A bit of a nostalgia stream tonight. Uh, but it, it was an opportunity to get some uh, another request night for the whole night in as well. Um, so I hope you enjoy that tonight. Thank you, boys and girls. Cheers. Um, thank you, Just Jace. Cheers, Retro and Liam. Uh, terrible Coffee. Cheers to the great company as always. Thank you, Terrible Coffee as well. There's not a Sweeney game either. No, there isn't. Thank God. <laughs> oh, waited all night for that. Did you, Anna? Did you? Thank you, Robin. This is cool stream type. Uh, great Craig. No drama. Good night, everyone. Yes, no drama tonight. <laughs> Trey, good night, Trey. You've been, with, been all night with us and before the start of the stream an hour early. Thank you, Trey. Matt Myers, thank you. Matt, we'll get you real Ghostbusters. Go for bleh. We'll get you the real Ghostbusters on part three. Definitely, definitely. Um, thank you, because uh, it's one of my favourites as well. But I did play real Ghostbusters on the Am stream not too long ago. We played it for a long time. Uh, actually, it's been featured a couple of times on the Am stream fairly recent, uh, fairly recently. So uh, yeah. Anyway, Jack, thank you, mate. Cheers, Jack. Full stream. Thank you, man. Thank you. You have a good weekend as, as well, Lucas. Take care, mate. Um, thank you, Anna, for your Ask Kettle ratings as well. Cheers. Uh, thank you, for the stream. Mike uh, says, Mike, I have a really bad week and you made me smile. Oh, I'm sorry you had a bad week, Mike. I, um, I hope we've, uh, I'm glad we've cheered you up a little, somewhat. That's what it's all about, anyway. Taking, ta hopefully, taking your mind off things just for a little bit, anyway, and give you some uh, much needed distraction. Hopefully, I've done that a little bit for you, too, Retro on them, mate. Uh, new Ghostbusters movie finished filming today. Really nice. We're in June, so we reckon the new Ghostbusters movie gets a uh, Christmas release. What do you reckon, Steve? Time for Christmas, maybe? Who knows? Um, but yeah, yeah. Right. So, thanks, everyone. Um, I should... Uh, uh, I should be back streaming, I think... Yeah, I'll be back streaming Monday on Twitch. So, for those of you uh, like uh, streams in, in the week, I'll be uh, streaming on Twitch on Monday evening. Um, you have to play some Oxy Pig. <laughs> probably a bit more to that game. There's probably a bit more to some of the games I played tonight and we didn't get a chance to see more of. I think that Pink Panther game's probably got a bit more to it. Um, I might uh, I might have a dive into that maybe on Twitch on Monday, actually, if we do an Amstrad stream. Hmm. Patreons, I'll try and get a new video for you this weekend, Patreons, and the members of the Am Squad. I know I've been neglecting getting some content there because I've been busy trying to finish off other videos for the YouTube channel. Um, I know I'm a bit behind on that as well. So, um, but yeah, you'll get a new video for the YouTube channel very, very soon, hopefully as well. And uh, yeah, yeah. So everyone, um, I hope you all have a, a nice weekend. Thank you for tuning in tonight, and. Um, yeah, cheers everyone. Yeah, you too, Robin. Musa, good night as well, Musa. Take care, and uh, I'll see you all again very, very soon. Take care, everyone. Cheers, and good night. Bye. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>